Welcome back to Total Party Kill. It's me, Tony Sindelar, a dungeon master. Today we are continuing the adventures of the Cult of Dusk. Or Dust. Definitely one of those. Uh, with me today is a group of adventurers. I will introduce them. They will introduce their characters. And I'll give you a quick recap of what's going on. Uh, first up, in my Zoom window and in... You know, uh, honestly, list of you by quality. It's Kathy Campbell. So. <laughs> Hello, I play Keyleth. I am a tiefling. Tiefling? I'm never going to say that right, but we that's did this fine. Last time. I, yeah, I know. And I'm going to continue to do it because <laughs> I really don't know how to say it. Uh, I've discovered Paladin. the key is not to say things right, but to say things consistently. And when I say key, that's I mean thing I'm incap <laughs> incapable of doing. Um, <laughs> You're like but half see, demon. You can say it however you want. That's yeah, perfect. No one's we'll go with that. You. We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. um, and I've embraced my half demonness uh, to be a paladin who likes pink, and I have a very pretty uh, chainmail skirt. Awesome. <laughs> uh, next up, it is one Stephen Lutz. Hey, it's me, Steve Lutz. Uh, I am playing Dandioff Terabit, a, a Ghostwise <laughs> Halfling monk. Nailed it. Sorry, no, Diendo, Diendo Fat Rabbit? I need to get some new glasses. Came up with that name. Mm. Mm. All right, well, that's that's his time. Uh, also <laughs> joining us, the increasingly not so new to Dungeons & Dragons, is Jean McDonald. Hi, Jean. Hi, y'all. Um, I am Gwirin. Gwir oh, great. I'm going to mispronounce my own name. Gwirvin. Gwirvin Jawan, who is a human bard and... I didn't die last week, so I'm here again. <laughs> Great Yep, news. that's how it works. <laughs> uh, also also joining us, it's Tiff Armet. Hi, Tiff. Hi, I'm uh, playing Alon S. Morset, a wood elf ranger that hails from the town of Jagged Pill. Mm, mm. <laughs> that is a, that's actually a pretty good... Yeah, that's a solid uh, actually, Forgotten yeah. Realms yeah, kind of name. Yeah. yeah, like there, in fact, there might be a place that's called Just like, Jagged Hill. Just outside of Waterdeep. Hill. Just outside yeah. of Waterdeep. <laughs> <laughs> you know... You know, in the Jagged Peaks, the, the town of Hill. Um, <laughs> so. And last but not least, it's Will Wagner. I, I'm playing Not a Dragon, the easily pronounced Dragonborn Warlock. I really appreciate that, even though I think I maybe sometimes said it wrong. Um, <laughs> hey, Alon, are you I'll, sure you're not from the dwarven village of Kids Incorporated? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> mm. All right, what has been happening in our adventure? Well, some strange characters wandered in to the town of White Sparrow. That was you guys. And then later, some strange <laughs> characters wandered into the town of White Sparrow. That was a trio of cultists of the titular Cult of Dusk. Uh, they started causing some trouble, you know, pulling down lightning from the sky and zapping people with necrotic energy. Turned out one of these cultists uh, was a former... Uh, I was going to call him Stagehand. Nope, he was a Stable Hand. Uh, stable Hand in White Sparrow kind of got bullied a little bit. Seems like, you know, that led him to a path of culting. Yeah, I don't know. Cultery. Talk to your kids, everybody. Um, and so you have set out to figure out uh, what is going on. Uh, the cultists did have with them a map indicating two locations not too far from White Sparrow. A campsite was the closest one. You've gone there and... Um, Fought some spooky shadows in a summoning circle and recovered some tattered notes that were burnt, but not successfully all the way burnt. You also know from your map that there is a second location. Another couple hours uh, travel from here. Uh, having cleared out a campsite, it seems like this would be a great place to take a long rest. It sure does. And so you do. Uh, you awaken the next morning, I guess. Um feeling, uh, you know, well-rested and curious about what to do next. You guys, I'm well-rested and curious. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> every railroad every needs morning. a conductor. Um, so. We've had a whole uh, week to rest, so that's... So, mm, quick really question nice. here, Tony. Um, mm. In our battle against the shadows, I ended up yeah. with a minus one to my strength. Has that gone away at this point? Ooh, I would say after a that. long rest, you are feeling much better, and that has gone away. Glad to hear it. Now, I also am well-rested and curious, so let's Yay. find out some things. What did we read in that parchment last week? Uh, well, I believe that you discovered that the parchment was kind of... Um, 
like the last couple pages of someone's uh, specifically Theron, oh. uh, formerly of White Sparrow. It was like part of his diary that he had tried to burn. Uh, and there was some references to the Cult of Dusk, to Oravin, who seems to be the leader of the Cult of Dusk, and that they uh, were looking for some kind of magical book known as the Book of Shadow uh, that was in some kind of lost library, maybe? Does that line up with what I said last time, Dan? <laughs> Seems reasonable. Okay. I mean, I would like to say that my notes say it was Book of Shadows, as in plural. I've heard it I both don't know. ways. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, either way. You know, Theron has horrible handwriting. <laughs> Books of Shadow, you know, the, also an option. The last, mm. the last uh, kind of piece of, of of writing in the journal, maybe the least burned, uh, says in Theron's writing, "The master being near to finding what he seeks when he does, I will destroy those trivial works and seek vengeance on those in White Sparrow who wronged me." So that suggests that he found what he was looking for already, and so or at least was really close. Theron was off to do his, his revenge, thing, no. quote unquote. Mm. Cool. So mm -hmm. we're going back to White Sparrow then, right? And hang out in the in the are we in the tavern? No, oh, let's uh, head well, there was... to the other place. Yeah, we okay. had another marker on our map. Fine. <laughs> Blinking quest marker is on your map. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, are you suggesting we return to the pub? Because we can go back to the pub I mean, for about six days. That's an option. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll go. I'm always for that. The blinking quest marker. You know, That's the name of my favorite part. I'm well rested and curious and ready to go. <laughs> what's this <laughs> what's this slowly rotating exclamation mark on the map? Let's do that one. That's interesting. Oh, that's just a tourist trap. You don't want to go there. <laughs> Everybody goes there. Yeah, that's mystery spot. Mystery was, spot, you know, no. No, no I yeah. we don't want to go there. You know. It's really cool. Uphill, it is so creepy. Yeah, I mean, maybe get the bumper sticker, but don't go in. No, no, it's so. super grammable. How many miles are we from with your drug, mystery spot know? bumper stickers? Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. All right, you head out past Carhenge toward the mark on the spot on the map. Now, do you know anything about where that location is? What that location it's right is? Next you know, where Faragun's biggest ball of yarn. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Somebody should do like a history check or something to find out if we know uh, about it. Man, I love I love fa fantasy Minnesota. That's my favorite <laughs> favorite Dungeons and Dragons Third setting. Favorite Minnesota. Yeah, Dark Sun. <laughs> Gamma World, Fantasy Minnesota. Those are top three. I believe the Tourism Bureau says that Minnesota is a fantasy in itself. Mm. Mm. Land of a lot of lakes. 10,000. I, I don't know. That's a bunch of lakes. lakes. And you know, tourism of honestly, the same. that's not a great slogan. No, I mean, who counted <laughs> sorry, them? Sorry, sorry, Minnesota. Um, hey, if you're really into lakes, it is. Yeah, what am I, some kind of lake tourist? Um, <laughs> ah, that's that's the that's the reference on some other podcast? <laughs> that's a weird looking map. All right, so uh, you head out toward the location marked on the map. Uh, you, the, your path takes you several hours. Uh, you're kind of getting to, up into the mountains on the um, eastern side of the valley uh, that, that White Sparrow sits in. And it's, you know, it, the terrain is a lot rockier and drier and sandier. And there is basically, uh, you can see from the distance, uh, a, a kind of ruins of a tower up on kind of a large rocky spire. Now you have a choice. You have, always have a choice, but here you have multiple choices, I guess. Uh, there is kind of a clear path cut into the um, the uh, the cliffside that uh, kind of zigzags up the cliff to the spire. Uh, it, you know, there's clear kind of stone steps cut into the path. You can follow that path, or you could do other stuff. An infinite variety of other stuff. Path or not path. It, between them <laughs> contains the infinite. <laughs> the multitude of things you could do. Let's get Jason and Syracuse on a podcast. Mm. Path, path or not a path. path. Path or not a path. Yeah. Mm. Um, so the fact that. that it's an option makes me wonder if we should see about <laughs> searching up a secret way to get up. I feel mm. like going up the path is, is probably going to be fairly dangerous have you considered six spending six to eight months hiring a contractor to build a new set of steps going up a different direction that's an option well mm. i was gonna say that maybe not a dragon could fly us up there but since he's not a dragon mm. that Oof. doesn't work Oof. sorry that Man, hurts homeowner dan's, hurts. dan's jokes have gotten a lot grimmer <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> There's one asbestos of in us. these cliffs. Don't worry one about it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let maybe we should do an investigation. That's the right one, right? Or... <laughs> I, do you want to do something involved with the word investigation? Because yeah, I mean, it, it does still mean investigating things. Okay, basically looking around at the base of the the looking for the secret secrets. doors. Yeah, another way to get up. Yes. Roll it. Yes. You don't yeah. roll roll yeah, stuff. Do, when you, you don't just roll, roll a d twenty, right? For all this. Have I ever checks. said don't roll a die? <laughs> That's true. I, um, well, I'm going to suggest that somebody else roll it because I, I rolled just rolled a, a 19. I rolled okay, an eight. good. Yeah. Oh, somebody good. All right. Um, and All for right. investigation, what yeah. modifier do I use for that one? Uh, you well, probably have investigation. investigation um, yeah. yeah, plus three. So it's 19 plus three. Oh, Ooh. dude. Wow. Yeah. All right. Way better than my two. Alan, you kind of scout around uh, the cliff sides here, and you determine there does not seem like there is any other direct path up the uh, um, up the cliffsides, and you know you feel pretty confident. If there was one, even a well secreted one, you would have seen it. Uh, and you, with your uh, in your inspection, determine that um, scaling the cliffs uh, without using the path is an option. It would be somewhat challenging uh, to the score of DC fourteen strength check, challenging but possible. All right. Mm. So everybody, um, the path looks like our best way up. Uh, I don't know if any of us are strong enough to actually scale the cliffs, and plus, it really wouldn't give us much of a benefit. So, let's head on up this path. Let's do it. Nana Dragon's gonna take a moment to uh, cast Mage Armor on himself mm. because this looks I like thought you were trouble. <laughs> and I'm a little bit bored, so I do a couple flips on the way. Front flips, back flips, what are we cartwheels? Uh, I could do an acrobatic Just... check. You want me to go yeah. for it? <laughs> yeah, go for it. All right, that's 12 plus 3 for acrobatics. So that's... <laughs> yeah, they're sweet They're sweet flips. You do three feet sweet flips. Sweet. <laughs> nice. Not a dragon right. is impressed as a free action. <laughs> mm. So you are trudging up uh, the, uh, the the stairs. It's, it's not too hard. I mean, someone has literally cut steps into the cliffside. It seems like... Uh, you know, whatever this ruined ancient tower is up here uh, was was probably, uh, you know, <laughs> built by people and they had to bring uh, equipment and, and supplies up there. And so they needed a path to do that. So you are trudging uh, up the hill toward the ruins. Uh, do you want to do anything while you're trudging? Other than uh, cool flips. Uh, <laughs> Diendo takes out his pan flute and plays a little trudging up a path on a hillside song. All right, you want to give us a few bars of that? No. <laughs> All right. It's a, it's a pan flute, right. man. It's not, it's not, you know, there's no vocals or anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that you are, you're almost at the top of the hill uh, when there is the twang of a crossbow bolt uh, whizzes past you. Uh, could you give me a quick marching order here? Who's in front? Uh, probably me. Probably <laughs> There you I, mean, go. I have I have the shield. So yeah, yeah I think uh not a dragon and I are probably at the front. Yeah. I can come up here. Somewhere. And this is not like a this is a theater of the mind illustration map, yeah. not a uh, <laughs> not a battle map. Um uh -oh. so, uh, all right. Yes. So I see marching order Keloth, not a dragon, followed by Alon, followed by Grievan, followed by Diendo, Fat Rabbit at the back. Indeed. All right, so I have rolled an attack, uh, 16 to hit Keloth. Nope. All right. Uh, you basically just happen to kind of be walking and a crossbow bolt breezes your little horns. It wasn't me. Um, <laughs> it, and you get the sense that it is coming from... Uh, you know that uh, you, you can fact see people moving around on the battlements uh, of the tower up above. Uh, they're probably about um, they're 30 feet up and 50 feet up the hill from you. Um, so they're quite a ways away, but they have fired a crossbow bolt at you. I'm going to suggest that we roll initiative. How's that sound? That sounds neat. Sure. Sounds great. By the way, those who are rapidly typing into their keyboard that uh, Alanis Morissette yeah, yeah. was on, you can't do that on television, and not Kids Incorporated. Yeah, so that's why I didn't get your joke, I just like I just Steve. like to point out that that was just 
the introduction to the opposites. So mm. it's yeah. all good. <laughs> Our initiative order is going to be Keyloth, Dando, Guyvern, Alan, uh, Unknown forces up in a tower shooting crossbow bolts at you and not a dragon. Um, notice how I say shooting crossbow bolts. Who knows what mysterious arcane weapon they're using to shoot those crossbow bolts. It's a crossbow. Um, <laughs> Keyloth, you are no. first. Uh, you, uh, you have seen, you know, you have been alerted. There are people in the, uh, the, t- the tower at the top of the hill firing down at you. Um, let's see. I have a... So you said they were 50 feet up? Is that... Yeah, they're quite a ways away. Okay. So, yeah, that's... it. Okay, so my range, my javelin says 30, and then in parentheses it says 120. So that means that you, uh, I believe, Dan, is it with disadvantage when you're yeah, going? So there's uh, your normal range would be 30, and then you can still throw it up to 120, but okay. you'll have disadvantage on your attack. Beyond 120, you're out of luck. Okay. Um, and then... How do you see how many of them that you have? Uh, you probably have three javelins. Get, okay. Because it doesn't say, which is very... It oh, might think you only nope. have a javelin. I clicked I on it. Three. I oh. have five. Ooh, oh, okay. Ooh. Someone, someone invested Bonus heavily fat. in javelins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah apparently. <laughs> I'm yeah. cornering the market thing. in javelins. <laughs> They're five, online. You know, just, mm-hmm. just remember, five is four, four is three, three yep. is two. Yep. Two is I'm one, okay. one is so none. I'll throw... I'll throw one. I'll All throw right. one at this one right here. Just because that was not very nice mm-hmm. to like surprise us. Um, so let's see. Plus four. Ooh. Hmm. So I got a six. Probably not gonna hit. No, your javelin <laughs> uh does not make it to the top of the uh of 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 the uh the, the cliffside. So if you throw enough javelins <laughs> into the side of the wall, yeah. and we can climb up. <laughs> then we on can them. climb um, up. Yeah, that's this, my plan. <laughs> the javelin does not lodge; it rattles off the wall. It will be easy for you to recover later. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, Keyloth, do you want to do anything else? You want to continue to march up the hill? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get uh, closer, um, just like right at the base to kind of uh, block right. from anyone coming streaming out of the door. The base of the tower is 50 feet away from you, so okay, you're away. Never to go. mind. But you can move, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna move closer. Yeah, so just take fifty, whatever, minus your total speed. And, yeah, you know, you know how far away you are, and we'll say that you were all clumped pretty close together on the path. So you know, you're all. I mean, maybe Dando is fifty-five. I'm, I'm not super worried about that part. All right, Dando, how are you at long-range battle? Very poor. I have some mm. darts. You I don't. Can have, throw. You don't have. You don't have fifty-five foot about, long it, arms. Was it no. the time? <laughs> night at the pub? Yeah, more or yeah. less. And if, if the dartboard is 55 feet away, I am in bad shape because mm. my longest range is 60 and my short range is 20. So, mm. uh, But Diendo suddenly appears out of the blue to be extremely inebriated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he sort of staggers his way past all the other party members out of the to the blue? front. Everyone expected this. Excuse well, me, you know, pardon me. Excuse me, looked, pardon me. He looked only moderately inebriated before, and now he looks unbelievably inebriated. Uh, he staggers to the front and he yells, "Hey, stop shooting at my friends! Pick on somebody <laughs> your own size!" And he flips him the bird. Okay. <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> and then he takes the. This is the only first and ever time I've the ever taken the dodge action. Check? But I am taking the dodge action. Ooh! Wow. I don't think I've ever. So I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this in about <laughs> seven or eight years of playing D and D. Do you want to tell people? I don't even know if most players know what the dodge action is. I'm fully useful in this I one think exact it situation. A, it gives him some kind of buff on his defenses. It, yeah, it means I get uh, advantage against dexterity saving throws. Any um, attack roll against you has disadvantage if you can attack nice attack disadvantage. Now, is there anything I can roll to uh, perhaps indicate that I've pissed them off and they're going to take shots at me or maybe make them take shots yeah. at me. You, uh, you flip them off, it should... Yeah, yeah, you, yeah what do you want to give me... With that, Dan, what do you think? Is that like a performance? Is I that think a, so. Or uh, sure. It's either performance or persuasion. Yeah, I, some, whatever you like, uh, Steve. Performance, persuasion, maybe intimidate. Something uh, in there. I, I, I actually most, like... Thing. I, actually I suspect like most of them are charisma based, right? Um, because uh, performance is, it, I mean, this is like a drunken master kind of thing. Yeah. Trying to pull off yeah. Years, and that's a performance based thing. So let's do yeah. that. Ah, performative like, drunkenness, and, my whole friend. Yes. <laughs> and just to, to, I mean, 
Steve, you also, you're pretty fast, right? Are you the closest to the tower by far at this point? Um, maybe. I was in the way back, so I had to kind of blast past everybody. So, mm-hmm. and Keyloth made some advance. But I bet you have a pretty good time. speed. It's 35. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> Steve is currently, or Dando is currently 20. How does math work? Uh, That's a 15, good question. I don't 15, know. 15 feet away from the uh, tower, maybe. Okay. Uh, Keyloth, you, your speed is slower than 35, I assume. because uh, Yeah, it's 30. Fast. Okay, yeah. You're All 20. Right. Everybody else is much further back. So give well, me a quick it, uh, uh, performance check. Do it you know? was briefly an 18 on the die, and then it tipped over to 5, so that's a I don't. I don't think that that <laughs> counts as being briefly an 18. It was briefly a lot of numbers. <laughs> All right, uh, unclear. The of being an you know, briefly I mean, they're intimidated, but then I will say you are you are the closest, and you are being, uh, you know, you're you're being you you are pre- presenting. Do you want me to roll a, a wisdom a wisdom check for them? Yeah, yeah mother was a hamster, yeah. and your father. Yeah, you know, and you know what, Dan, Dan, uh, let's give it. They have it at disadvantage. That's not going to matter, Tony. I rolled a three. Okay, well done, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yes, I was just going to say these people are on guard duty. These are not. Top tier cultists is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, us the bird seems rude. We were just doing our jobs. Is that what one of them sounds I don't like? Know. I've committed to it now, I guess. <laughs> Canon. Right. It sounded a little goofier when I did it the first time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dan, is that Raska or is that Trish? I think that's Raska. All right. I can be Trish if you need. Okay. Uh, Gwyvern, you are next. Okay. So I have an. Uh, I think what I want to do is move up closer so that I'd be in better range with my crossbow. Yep. But could I use vicious mockery on them first? Uh, what's is that the like you can, do can one, you only do that? You can do vicious mockery or the, other. Or the crossbow. They're both, they both oh, take your well. action. Oh, forget it. <laughs> They're already I mean, being mocked. I had some, insul- I had some choice insults you ready. You can viciously but, uh, mock them. That does damage. It does. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it's an attack. Yeah, it does. It's an attack. That's yeah. psychic damage. Yeah. That's that's psychic the worst. Damage. It gets in their damage. heads mm-hmm. and it yeah. sits there. It's, yeah, they're it's a um, wisdom save, so they're probably not very. We've wise. already seen them fail one. They rolled a three <laughs> yeah. on their attempt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, that's a good one. All right. Well, the, and I don't have to move closer to mock them. Do yeah. I? Nope. You may if wish I to move closer them. for later stuff as well, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all right, then I will move in it, and I want to hang back. Um, and you've got two uh, potential silhouettes up there on the tower. There's one on the left and one on the right. You okay. can only viciously mock one of them at a time. So uh, pick a target. Um, well, I know. pick the one on. Oh, they have names. <laughs> they have names. One of them actually <laughs> yeah. fired at us, right? These are people with uh, names so far, yes. and feelings. You don't, and, so mock carefully. I would say, <laughs> good. I'm I would counting say you, on that. I would say you don't know which one. Um, right. Okay. All right, you. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna address my my uh, vicious mockery at uh, Trish. All right. Um, Trish, I'll roll for Trish. Dan, Trish needs to make a wisdom saving throw. You can give us a little bit of taste of that vicious mockery, there, Gene. Yes. Like, you you shoot a crossbow like a guinea pig. Oh no! <laughs> that means oh, that's highly vicious. skilled that's, and uh, <laughs> very adorably. It's like a backhanded uh, compliment. <laughs> so I rolled a thirteen on wisdom for Trish, wow. which is not bad. What is your spell save? I bet it's close to thirteen. So I think Trish uh, may have it, saved. Is that um, where it says like wisdom thirteen? Next to vicious uh, no, in yeah. your spell stuff. Oh yeah, sorry. It yeah, says that's thirteen. Probably, that's, if it says specifically, they have to succeed on a DC thirteen wisdom saving throw. Is that what it says in the text? Yep. Yes. Yeah. I just barely did. Uh, Trish looks mm, miffed at that. Dang it! That's All right. A, yeah. I love. Guinea pig was a I love good <laughs> guinea pigs. They're my <laughs> favorite <laughs> animal. <laughs> Is that that's what Raska says? Yeah. <laughs> this voice has uh, gone different places. Then mm. Raska's. It's hard to tell who is who. Mm. Psychic. Yeah, uh, really looking damage. forward to getting into a conversation with myself. All right, Alon, <laughs> I think you are next. Uh, of course, I'm going to be taking my crossbow. I have a mm. range of eighty, so I should be fine. You're where fine. I am. Yep. Yeah. I'm They've got pretty good at... cover. Is the downside, but you're well within range. All right, I'm going to aim at Trish, and right. uh, let's hope that this roll gets me something good. 
All right. I got a 16. I have plus seven and then plus two proficiency. Twang, your bolt sails from past all your friends up toward the tower. And there you hear a, the kind of satisfying yelp as you just clip Trish with an arrow. Roll some damage. All right. Let me get my and for proper future notice, damage die Tiff, Your here. plus seven already includes your proficiency. It's already built It does? In. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's like, it's, plus seven is already pretty plus seven. amazing. Really good. Good. Plus, plus seven is your character. Yeah. <laughs> plus, plus seven is ridiculous, Trish. Uh, not Trish. Trish is the NPC. Tiff. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what Trish said. She's like, plus seven is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. She yells, <laughs> plus seven. We're just lowly bandit guards. Ah, <laughs> damage. 1d8 plus three. So four. Okay. Four is what you rolled? Yeah. Uh, hey, All four right. is better than zero. Trish looks displeased with this situation. Anything else, Alon? Um, I don't think I can do anything else. All right. I shake my Did fist. Did you want to move closer? Or are you happy where you are? I'm happy where I am. Yeah, you're within crossbow range. Um, so, Dan, um, Raska and Trish are up there on the uh, the tower. Uh, they do not like this thing. I think that um, Raska is going to be focused on Diendo. I think Trish has her eyes set on Alon. How do you feel about that? That sounds very good. <laughs> All right, why don't you roll for an attack on Diendo? Remember that you have disadvantage. Okay. Yeah, you do. And Trish is going to fire a crossbow bolt back at Alon. Raska is trying to, like, lean over the tower to get a shot <laughs> on Diendo, and it's just like, you can see him. He's just going to go over any moment, and he kind of, like, stumbles and he shoots, but it just goes into the ground wide of Diendo. All right. Well, uh, Trish is angry. She's bleeding from a, a wound in her shoulder, and she focuses that rage into a precision shot. Uh, 22 to Ooh. hit Alon. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, Jim, you may be able to <laughs> deflect or to try to stop that from hitting him, from hitting uh, Alon. I think you have cutting words available. I think that may mm. not be available at the level. Isn't that like a level three thing? Is she only level two? Oh, maybe it's yeah. Three. Okay. I have Sorry, reactions, Jean. opportunity attacks, but nothing. I think this is happening. Uh, four, uh, oh, sorry, five piercing damage as a oh, bolt okay. hits you in the side. Alon, that is what you've been doing to other people. Oh. And it feels horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you live, you learn. <laughs> All right. Not a dragon. Uh, not a dragon, having just seen his companion get shot here, um, will yell out, that is not okay, and I'm not a dragon, and cast Eldritch Blast at Trish. And No one I asked rolled... you for your backstory, man. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a But I do want 16. to know more about that mischievous elf. <laughs> uh, a 16 will not hit because they of have cover. three quarters cover of that tower. Uh, the splash of magic on the ramparts. The uh, the bandits uh, guards look like they have perhaps are a little in over their head, but what are you going to do? I will run up here with Diendo and try to get a little closer. All right. So right now I think Diendo and not a dragon are the closest to the tower. Uh, Kaloth or Kiloth. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> I get to go again. <laughs> um, I guess I'll try another javelin. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna pick up the one that I threw before. Yep, still looks good. Because it's uh, I'm At least not want not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's try again. Come on, dice. You targeting uh, Raska or Trish? Uh, we're gonna go with Trish. All right. Uh, it got a 12. Uh, it hits the tower, at least. Yay! Does it <laughs> getting fall back better. down close. for me to pick up again? Yeah, getting closer. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Yay! You're triangulating their position. Yeah. Yes. Kaloff, anything else? Uh, you're, she shouts, you know, you're really not being very nice. <laughs> you started uh, throwing stuff at us. <laughs> Hey, you started it. It's our tower. But we were, are here to visit. You, we could be bringing presents. Are you? Yes. Tell me we have presents. We have presents. Uh, roll, we have presents. Roll, roll deception. 
<laughs> with, okay. with with disadvantage for implausibility. <laughs> if they pitch a live cow over the side of the tower, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled a seven, so I think I'm uh, mm. not. Those aren't late. peasants. They're sharp. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got nothing else. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Diendo! <laughs> hey! Uh, yeah, Diendo looks up at the two cultists and yells, Hey, I said cut that out! And he leans forward to waggle his finger at him, and he kind of makes a misstep, and he twirls around. And what do you know? The back of his robe lifts up and shows his bum to the two <laughs> knuckleheads in the tower. He says, How did that happen? <laughs> I think that's We've psychic damage already, for everyone. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've already Imp- got one. <laughs> impressing, <laughs> impressing no one with a four on performance there. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve, acting is reacting. And- that's fair point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know art, says Raska, but I know what I like, and it's not that. <laughs> Uh, are you going to do any kind of attack or anything, Diendo? Or no? No, I'm I'm going to dodge again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and be an uh, arrow sponge. Well, okay. Um, uh, Quivern, you're next. Quivern. Uh, Quivern, I may, I am ready to pull at that crossbow. I'm tired of this. Mm-hmm. No, no, no more mockery. It's, um, so I would like to. Use my crossbow and uh, take a shot at Trish. Wow, a lot of shots on Trish. I, I Trish hasn't like said Trish. anything yet, Tony. What, is, what does Trish feel here. about what's going on? Um, I'll kill all of you, says Trish. <laughs> and that's why we're all aiming at her. So. Yeah, that'll that'll get me in good with the cult. <laughs> all right, so I roll my my d8. Uh, roll your d20 to, and then add your oh. attack modifier to see if you hit. And if you hit, you get to roll damage. But only if okay. You Rolling my d20. Ugh, four. Your crossbow bolt uh, ricochets off the tower. So big tower. It's really easy to hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want, you can spend a little time just like taking down the tower. One block at a time. Yeah, brick by brick. Yeah. One arrow Try to go time. in the door, too. It, it's certainly an option. Um, a lot. Oh, yeah. I forgot to move. Dang it. <laughs> a lot of choices have been made and not made today. Yes. All right. I'm, um, I'm going to try the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now the door, I don't think you would move forward, so the door is like 50 feet away from you. Can I go move towards the door? Yeah, you can. All right, let's go should, to the door. Should note if we leave these guys up there and go inside, they will most assuredly alert everybody else in the car. I am to just present. I think at this point I'm going to move you. I've got an overhead map. I'm going to flip you to that cuz I okay. think now that now that you're getting They've to the top yelling of the hill. At each other. They probably know we're here. Hold on. Ooh. Let me just oh, well, Look at that. that. Multicam. Uh, we did bow, lose bow, all bow, our bow. Ah! <laughs> oh, did <the> same thing? <laughs> no, they multiply. I had to copy the ones that had already taken don't, damage. I, fig- I, didn't figured you- I figured you didn't want a fresh one. Uh, let's see. I still have your initiative order. Uh, it doesn't, so I will tell you. So, Alon, you are moving halfway up the trail. So whatever your speed was, um, you can move that, which probably doesn't get you all the way to the door. Hold on. I'm uh, refreshing here. Yeah, all right. Always. There we go. It doesn't get me all the way at the door? Yeah, you were 50 feet back down the trail from the door. All right, crossbow time. <laughs> but you're now probably half of the way there, I would imagine. You're probably 25 feet away. So I'm closer? Yep, you're Obviously. a lot closer. <laughs> um, hmm. Or, or, let me confer. You I can do that a... and crossbow. Um, I also have a spell of um, fog cloud, which kind of like obstructs everything. So mm-hmm. I don't know if we are keen on that to like sneak into the door next. Whoever's after me. Give us some cover. Again, if yeah. we go through the door, they're going to alert everybody. We probably need to pop these guys. Got to pop them first. Yeah. I think. All right. And you have the best chance at actually, you know, hitting them. <laughs> okay. And as you <laughs> know, once you pop, you can't stop. You can't, you stop. Just can't stop. stop. That's it, actually. <laughs> once you pop. <laughs> All right, nineteen plus seven. There you go. All right, 
you t continue to trade fire with Trish. There's another satisfying yelp from Trish. A little, uh, some blood trickles down the uh, ramparts. Roll damage. How is Trish gonna deal with this? Let's see. Duh, four. <laughs> All right. Was that a four on the die or a four total? Four total. Oh, uh, you you get Trish in the left ear, <laughs> and she's pissed. <laughs> like, uh, in like the damn ear? you, cult of Very ducks. Well, like you know, through the ear, not. She, not yeah, she, she now has a piercing. She now has a piercing. <laughs> like, it's, I don't. I'm very I, I accurate. Mean, it's a what? lot of damage for a single. She's like, so yeah. She's like, We're usually you like have a, to pay for that, but I guess. I think, <laughs> I think that a significant percentage of the ear is not there anymore. Is how right. Right. So, so we're, we're talking about an Evander Holyfeld situation, not a yeah. Steve Martin situation. Plus or yes. minus one ear. Yes. Okay. Arrow have teeth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Alana, anything else? Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. All I, right. I, uh, I, yeah, that's it. Yep. All right, Trish and Raska, the bandit guards, are next. Come and uh, get I it, yells Diego. I, I think that <laughs> you have continued to basically... Trish is set on Alon, and uh, Diendo has continued to keep um, uh, Raska engaged. So, Dan, you want to roll for Raska with disadvantage? Try to shoot Diendo in the bum. That's clear. <laughs> Do your best. Um, oh. Trish... <laughs> <laughs> just gonna Trish, is, Trish is rolling well. That's a 20. <gasps> oh, but that, with disadvantage. That was a three. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Poor wasted critical. Well, wah, Trish, wah. with blood trickling down her face, is doing better. Uh, she got an 18 to hit, which I suspect hits Alon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> qu I have a question. Yeah. Um, does a five foot radius count diagonal? Sure. Yep. Okay. It's so. Uh, I th you need to re-roll that, please, because you're using your uh, thing. Uh, my protection. Thing. All right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, so you're basically in imposing, general that lets uh, you impose disadvantage. So that's generally something yes. to do ahead of time before okay. you find out if it hits or not. But I think we'll. Gotcha. Yep. Well, guess I what? Have no I idea rolled how the that exact. Works. Totally fine. I rolled the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you try and get your shield up, uh, Kaloth, but it's not in time. Alon, you take another arrow to the other side, to your other ribs. That's five more piercing damage. How are Ouch. you doing? Um, I'm good. I'm uh, okay. Really? I have I have eight. Okay. Of, You're yeah. eight okay. 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 Eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm eight okay. <laughs> eight okay. All right. Not a dragon. All right. Uh, I think that I can't reach them with my fire breath, so I will Eldritch Blast Trish again. Okay. I rolled a 20. Uh, 20 will hit. This is Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Alright, your bolt of electricity. Electricity? I don't know what it is. Eldritch it's Energy. Force damage? So Zaps across. Shoving energy? The, yeah. Zaps across the battlefield. It wings. Trish, roll damage. Nine. It's like a stream of midichlorians, basically. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Trish gets clipped by it and is like sent into a spiral and just falls off the ramparts and plumps into the ground. Oh man, the base you guys killed tower. my manager. <laughs> <laughs> Not a dragon, anything else? Uh oh no, I'll stay there. It's good. Oh good. Kaloth! Uh, I am going to shout, congratulations on your promotion, Raska! <laughs> <laughs> um, my and first I'm day! Move, <laughs> move closer to the tower. Um, and, uh, pick up my javelin and, uh, mm -hmm. Alon's previous arrow so i can get that back to her um and oh, uh let's i got try. two more in my ribs <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little off quiver. we'll need yeah. to make sure that we clean them later oh you got like a whole frankenstein thing going now that's nice yeah. <laughs> um and uh third time's a charm with my javelin we're gonna we're gonna go mm -hmm. with that dang it <laughs> fourth time fourth time three <laughs> So I got a seven. 
<laughs> which I'm guessing is not. I, you know what? I'm just getting. I'm getting all of these terrible rolls mm-hmm. out of the way. Get now. them out now. Yep. I don't get those really... bad javelins out of your backpack. Yes. And mm-hmm. Get to the good ones. I need. Yeah, no. During need... <laughs> after the fight, you're going to spend all your time like straightening those javelins out. <laughs> yes. like... Clearly, I have not practiced enough with my javelins. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. All right, Diendo. Uh, Diendo looks up at Raska and yells, "You're in a cult. Call your parents." <laughs> and then he gives his cheeks a little slap. Gosh! All right, uh, I'm gonna ask which Rask- cheeks, but you know, I don't do, really do want to know. Do not ask. So Rask- you know, like- it's, a, it's a Home Alone kind of situation. Rask is like, <laughs> I'm 47. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not old. Uh, 12 on performance that time, but he was already right. pissed off at me. So yeah, right, I, I think I think. I think you're... Oh, Dan, what were you going to say? I did roll, but uh, I think I have disadvantage on that, too. Yeah, I've, yeah. I got another three, so everything's fine. You're doing a great job at holding his advantage, and I don't think Raska has hit anybody yet, so... <laughs> Trish was really the, the sharpshooter he's of the been operation. A, I mean, he's clearly. new. It's his first day. It's his first day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gorvin. Okay. Well, um... It would, ha- would it help me to move in... If I'm going to use my crossbow against You are within head. crossbow range, so you can't get oh. any more in crossbow range. I can't. <laughs> I want to be right up there. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> well, right I mean, face. if you were like, yeah, or right behind him, that Just would be great also. GM yeah. that bolt right up his nose. You know that uh, uh, execution style. Yeah, that would, right. you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's dark, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I'll, I will stay where I am and use my crossbow to try to pick off Raska this time and please uh-huh. dice. Let's uh let's work with us here, dice, or I'm gonna replace you. Eleven. I rolled an eleven, so it's probably not gonna do it, but you would get to add well, something to yeah. it. Uh, which do you at proficiency? You would add there should be an attack bonus for you next to that under oh. actions on your sheet. Plus four. Plus four, yeah. yeah, so 15. So 15. Not quite enough. You know, if Raska was just standing on top of the tower, it would be great, but Raska's got cover from the battlements oh, of the yeah. tower. So you made it, it goes like right near Raska. He kind of blinks hey, as he looks at you. Careful then he of looks, those. Then he looks back Does, at the end. Do I, do I raise Raska's blood pressure? <laughs> yeah, it's not. It, I, I would say that this is, you know, like probably he should not, like it would be bad for his long-term health if to just constantly be almost hit with a cross football yeah i mean it, 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 40, he was hired 47 like, yeah and they're like i mean ugh, you come up hang out the battlements you're gonna do watch nothing ever happens up here it's very totally very, fine, very quiet very, very sedentary it's yeah. um yeah very serene you know getting the calls i mean the air quality is good but you know <laughs> too um, soon tony oh sorry all right um, all right <laughs> well i would say darn it and uh also i look over to uh alan and say uh you how are you feeling uh i could be better i could be better <laughs> bleeding from you know either side well, of my body <laughs> yeah <laughs> at least you're symmetrical Symmet- yeah, yeah symmetrical. Right. that's good <laughs> As a doctor, <laughs> symmetrical bleeding. <laughs> Would you like the uh, uh, the? Uh, Might add a ten phlebotomist suggests any any bleeding. healing attention because that's my bonus action, right? Oh healing yeah, healing. I could definitely go for some healing attention because okay. if I'm going to use my crossbow again on my turn, I might get attacked, and that okay. might be bad. All right. Well, I am still an intern, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I, <laughs> but I fine. don't think I don't think it's a tricky, uh, tricky uh, situation. Yeah, you're in. It's very easy to diagnose. It's um, outpatient. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I do the. What do I do first? D uh, four. Let's see. Spell. You're using healing word. Uh, uh, Is that- healing word. It says D one D four plus yep. three. Just roll hearts. it, and yeah. that's how many hit points. Okay, the, I'm rolling the four. Yep. Thing. The, it's hard to roll. It's a little yep. pyramid. Yeah. yeah. Death triangles. Right. I got a Top two. Pumps. And then you get to well, add something to it. Three. I get three to Yay. add three. So that's All right. five. Thank you. All right. Five All right. hit points back. And then a- I a- that approx- goes- approximately one crossbow bolt back worth of hit points. <laughs> okay. Thank and then you. That helps so much. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That- my crossbow arm's That's ready my- to go. <laughs> Feeling better. That's my healing word uh, uh, and a little calendula. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then that takes up a spell slot, right? Yes. Okay. I will figure that out. Okay. There should be a little checkbox in D&D by on for you to check. Okay. I see. Manual. So they, the, the, the computer doesn't hear me say the healing no. word and just, okay, check it off on its own. <laughs> okay. All right. And then, well, phew, at least I could achieve something on this turn. All right. Yeah. You no, great. you, uh, Very yeah, helpful. you, Thank you, you achieved. And you hold, you, you healed someone. Alon, one of the, uh, you're only bleeding from one side of your body now. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. I, uh, I give Gwyvern a thumbs up. It's like, thanks. <laughs> and I, I nod to her, like, really, you know, cool. Like, Oh, you're yes. so cool, Alan. I am. I'm just really cool. Like, <laughs> that's what everyone says. Uh, all right. You're so, so I'm dark. Going to, uh, so dark. So cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for that crossbow again. You mm-hmm. can do it. All right. Come on. This time, you just got to do it. All right. Nine plus seven, which is whatever that is. That's pretty good. 16. Traditionally. 16. 16, which is not enough to hit Raska. Yep. Yeah. Gosh. And I think it is now Raska's turn, right? Alon, anything else? Uh, no. All right. Come and get it. Come and get it. Alon, fire at the endo with all your heart. <laughs> Alon? What? <laughs> yeah. Turn, Sorry. Turn, turn us against turn each other. <laughs> wow, she really is dark. <laughs> yeah. Raska, also fire at the endo. That'll show him. <laughs> Everybody, fire at Dando. <laughs> this disadvantage thing is killing me. Yep. I, got, it. I got an 18 and a 1. <laughs> all right. Why don't Quick people ter- use this dodge thing all the time? It's great. <laughs> it is pretty good, especially if you're keeping them engaged. You're just doing one of those like cartoon things where it's like he keeps shooting at you and you're like... <laughs> it's great when there's five of you and one incompetent guy with a crossbow bolt. That's, that's right. <laughs> that is the ideal. He's situation. not incompetent. He's just very new. Yeah, you know, he's, it's he's, not... It, Welcome he's back to the incompetent, in- everybody. I'm your host. <laughs> <laughs> he's not incompetent. He's just pre-competent. Yes. Um, okay. He's learning. <laughs> not a dragon. There's something wrong with this bow, guys. <laughs> uh, well, Eldritch Blast him again. All right. I am rolling a one. Okay. Uh, Splash against the side of the tower. impressive than, yeah. <laughs> I will like run up close to the door mm-hmm. in the hopes of that might give a little cover from his fire, maybe. I think we'll if see. you're like right up against the door, he basically can't see you. Slash, you'd be really hard to see if you're like. <laughs> but right the guy with the that. boiling oil has yeah. a great view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's exfoliating, so that'll yeah. <laughs> you all the way down people, to the bones. People pay a lot for this. <laughs> Especially for a dragonborn, I feel like it would yeah. be really yeah, nice. Like, you know, yeah, really scales get that luster that, back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Relieve the muscles from the So, um, not a dragon, you rush up to the doorway. I'll tell you, there is, you know, a door in the doorway, but it's kind of propped there. Um, this whole, you know, mm. the, you're, you're just getting a big, a big ruins vibe from this, uh, this tower. Um, it does. It does not look like it is physically capable of being locked. Um, so, um, yeah. Good to know. You could. You one could easily just push the door open or kick it off its hinges. We could knock. I mean, that would be. Or knock and wait for someone to come get you. <laughs> Ross is like, Ross hold on, run there's down someone the at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh, time out. Time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kaloth. All right. I am ready. With this javelin, four times a charm. I did turn on my lights, which mm-hmm. clearly was the problem mm-hmm. because ah. I'm gonna roll a really good number. <laughs> not on gonna this look dice at it. Here. No, not yet. <laughs> Guys, I'm running out of jabs. Hurry up and kill this guy. Yeah. I rolled oh, a no. five. He's been looking at my butt for two That's turns. Better than last time. Nine. I'm slowly working it's be- my way it's getting up. Getting better. Very slowly, no offense. Very slowly. I know, it's true. Is it your first day on javelins? How many more javelins do you have? Clearly, I don't... I can feel that Raska Raska is is 
like new and he doesn't really know what he's doing. And I'm just like half-heartedly throwing these javelins mm. because it's my turn and I have to do something, but I don't really want to hurt him. That he hasn't you, hurt like, anybody. You like threw it in the air and it just came up <laughs> yeah. just high enough. The rascal like catches it. He's like, oh, I think this is yours. And he just drops it back down for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Uh, it's totally Rasko's first fight. Dando! Yeah. <laughs> Me again, huh? Mm-hmm. All this right. Is a long fight. I look up at <laughs> Raska nice. and I yell, You little Raska! Oh. And then I hey, bend that's over. that's my name! Is and it? I fart in his general direction. <laughs> oh. All right. Dan, persuades it quick uh, performance versus... Yeah. <laughs> Do I have disadvantage on that, really? Yes, you absolutely do. <laughs> uh, we, all, we all do. Mm, seven. Excellent. Still taking the dodge action. All right. <laughs> Quivern. Okay. Now, um, I, what I'm thinking of, um, haven't tried this ever before, but can I try to persuade um, Raska to... <laughs> Jump Look, down. Get, the water's fine. Uh, jump, down. <laughs> jump down. Or I was thinking jump jump up on the on the uh parapet to see <laughs> I, to, I think to, uh, what, like, see like, something. to walk off? Like, <laughs> no, just to <laughs> see if the police maker <laughs> I think that, that would be pr- pretty much without magical means impossible to convince him of because okay. that would be uh dangerous for him to yeah, do. Yeah, I think you'd have better luck convincing him, like, not to... <laughs> to not shoot. Yeah, like, perhaps, yeah. like, maybe you don't want to do this. This seems silly. Yeah. But, um, so that, um, then he wouldn't, uh, well, I don't want him to shoot Alan again. Or you could convince him to uh, try and, you could try and convince him to surrender. I could yeah. take it if it needs to happen. I think he's uh, still gonna shoot at me. Yeah, yeah, right now, the end of, pretty the laser end of, focused on my backside for about three turns. <laughs> now, the rest of you guys could like kick your the way into the one. tower or something. Yeah, literally, literally anything. Okay, <laughs> well, just standing I, around waiting him shoot shoot the end. Shoot. Up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> why? Why don't I? Why don't I push open the door of the tower then? All right, you want to run people up? People like tower? to find out what's what happens next. Yeah, it might might be awful. But uh, therefore, <laughs> the I would like some buy-in. <laughs> no one has, no one looked at the tower. For all you know, this could be your classic snake tower full of snakes. Could be a spider tower. Could be a rat tower. A lot of, a lot of bad things. It could be, it could be one of those snake spider towers. Those are the worst. So. It might be full of popcorn. You never know. Yeah, it could be a popcorn tower. <laughs> you popcorn you might be buried in the avalanche of yeah. on the Open the door, tower. just balloons come out. Yeah. Just a flood of tribbles. <laughs> <falling> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> You are the 100th person to enter this tower today. We were going to have a surprise party for Trish earlier. (laughs) (laughs) I sure hope that she's okay. Thanks for inviting us. I forgot to mention this was a uh, circus cult. (laughs) 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 There are clowns in there. I'm out of here. But I don't know. Am I? Do I? can I move close enough to open? I the think door? you are. Pro- you were pretty far back because you were hanging back yeah. firing a crossbow bolt. So I'm going to say you could move uh, halfway up toward the tower, and then, okay. but you still have ways to go. Whereas Kilof, Diendo, and Not a Dragon are right up I- by the door. Okay. One of you so door you wanna- people need to open that door. Yeah. All right, so I'll move as close as I can, so I can All right. be ready when That's somebody just your else movement. opens the door. So you could still right. fire your crossbow at Roscoe while yes. you do that. Or did Let's we already get- do that? No, we didn't do okay. it. It just lot, seems lot like of, we already we done have, it. We have fired a lot of <laughs> a lot of crossbows have been fired today. So. And a couple javelins. Yep. Yeah. So give me a quick crossbow shot at, at Roska. And a bunch of There's a lot of shooting, not oh. a lot of hitting. Nineteen. Yay. Roll. That'll do it. Plus, All right, that'll do uh, it. So thanks. your crossbow clips Roska. Roll the damage for a crossbow. Okay, that's a D eight. Ugh, one. Plus something. Plus, plus uh, four. All right, five. five. That's, That's not bad. Good. That's good. Yeah, wow, you're Ross- a lot of damage oh, on your Oh, this is a new though. robe. <laughs> <laughs> it's old he, shoulder. There is now a red blood strain streaking his black and purple robes. He looks upset. Uh, oh, the, the, you know, it really hurts. Is, yeah. So, um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Alon. Here we go. All right. You can do it. 
All right, 14 plus 7. So That'll do it. 21. 21. Full damage. And let's... Oh, yeah, I got to roll damage. Hey! Traditionally, hey. yep. <laughs> All right, make sure I have the right die. Come on! Yes! 5 plus 3. All right, you get Eight. Raska right between the eyes. You see him I'm just, sorry. like, tumble backward <laughs> off Finally. of the... Uh, the ramparts into the ruins of the tower beyond. And things are now quiet here atop the mountainous cliffs where your your map has led you. What do you want to do next? I want to high five Griven. All right. Griven? <laughs> Traditional uh, high exchanges of high fives at the end of a battle. Yep. Uh, everyone gets a juice box. Things are great. <laughs> Oh, now yay. a dragon considers Wait, like, can high-fiving really Diendo, but then realizes that he's been slapping his own butt a lot during this fight, <laughs> yeah. and then thinks better of it. Yeah. Diendo demurely lowers his robe, and now appears slightly less inebriated. <laughs> yeah. Do we, do we Diendo, really have please, juice boxes? Because I need some serious help. <laughs> can I offer some uh, That's just hand myth, sanitizer Tony. to anybody? <laughs> the science is settled. <laughs> okay, uh, well, shall we knock? That's Who's very that? polite of you. Let's, <laughs> let's not. Let's check for traps and just open the dang thing. <laughs> gonna, we could also circle the tower and look for, you know, other ways. Yeah. In. Alternative entry points. Let's perce let's perceive this sucker. All right. <laughs> perceive away. Perceive the crap out of this tower. <laughs> I have a uh, nineteen perception. Uh, wow. What are you trying to perceive? The tower. <laughs> uh, the tower is uh, it's you know, there it's yeah. present <laughs> are, the tower, bitch, are there I any traps you, the tower the looks like it is about three stories high uh, it, the top or at least the ruins are several stories high it looks like it probably at one point was taller or had some kind of decorative structure on top of it that has not uh, stood the test of time uh, you spend some time circling the tower it does appear that there is only the one entrance here at the top of the steps. Uh, you're looking around the uh, the tower. You know it's, you've got great views of the uh, the valley. Um, That's what it said on the real estate <laughs> listing. Yeah. Great yeah. views <laughs> of the valley. Yeah. Um, Convenient you know, battlements the, providing the three quarters cover. The uh, the <laughs> windows of the tower don't have any kind of um, glass or or, or uh, you know window shades in them or airy. Or, uh, you know. <laughs> Are there any uh, windows on the bottom? No, that Level? would be not your classical <laughs> castle fortification. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm just asking. <laughs> is the, the guards are incompetent? Maybe the the architects incompetent. Screen too. porch. Is the yes. door booby trapped in any way? Uh, it could the, be a the, catio. The door does not look like it's booby trapped. The door also does not look like it's very structurally sound at this point. In fact, you think. If you opening the door may make the door not closable in the future. Yeah, if we knock, without it'll serious, just fall over. Serious carpentry. It seems like Can possibly Roska, Trish, or somebody else has kind of propped the door in place. What did you want to do, Can Alon? I, I want to kick the door. You kick the so door. I look, it, so I look extra awesome because yeah. I know it's going to fall really easily. The, the yeah. door <laughs> flies forward, letting up a huge cloud of dust. Uh, looking into the, uh, the 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 tower proper, uh, it's in ruins. Um, there's just a ton of beams and rocks and rubble. Also, a lot of broken glass that you can see from here. Um, but it is, uh, it's not in, uh, in great shape. You do see there is a kind of, uh, the remains of a, a wooden, uh, spiral staircase going up the, uh, around the, the sides of the tower that leads up to the ramparts. You can see Ruska has fallen off the, uh, the ramparts and is lying there in the pile of rubble. He doesn't look good. When I say good, I mean he looks super dead. <laughs> so it looks like hey, you guys, uh, the second dead. floor is it just that guy in there just he looks like super a dead. circular ledge up there or is there a second yeah there's floor? basically just a circular ledge up there it does look like uh perhaps at some point there was actually a second floor um or, or other things but it's all it was probably made out of wood and so basically only the stone stuff is kind of uh, is, is particularly intact whereas the wood stuff is uh mm. all rotted away and in um that's weird for you of decay yeah Anything you want to do here in this tower? You've killed I'd like to look through two guards. Search the debris remains All for right. any kind of uh, interesting things you might have been carrying. Yeah, Give I'm gonna me, check. Um... Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say so. Diendo wants to check uh, the the 
Trish and Raska. Uh, Nada Dragon wants to check the uh, um, rubble. Kaloth, what did you want to check? Uh, I was going to check Raska too and then okay. like make him more comfortable um, right. on the ground. Give me quick, uh, uh, you know, perception or investigation checks on them. Oh, well, I rolled okay. double, di- double uh, digits, so that's a good start. 14. Uh, my perception's a 13. All right. Uh, you find, uh, so Kaloth and Dando, you're searching um, each of them. Uh, they each have basically a little uh, uh, coin purse with, you know, they each have about 12 gold pieces on them. Not a lot of money, but, you know. Sweet! Decent by, <laughs> you know, more than, more than, you know, your average person is walking around with. And Raska uh, has a silver locket. Uh, worth uh, 20 gold pieces uh, that's got like a little sketch of a person inside of it. Oh. He was a person that you killed. Does it look like an evil person? No, it look, looks great. Very handsome man. <laughs> Very handsome man. It's, not like a, it's not like an orphan or something? <laughs> <laughs> what does an orphan yeah, look you like? You tell from the picture. Yeah, well, you can tell. Not, it was like, not at the, to- so not at the time of illustration, yeah. no. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, yeah. It's a picture of a kid with a speech bubble coming out of his yeah. mouth saying, my parents are dead. <laughs> you know, we have an expert sketch artist sketch this out, and it's clear from the picture that this uh, kid is an orphan. He's wearing the traditional Oliver outfit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's holding out a bowl. Please, sir, I want some more. So um, you're looking around, uh, not a dragon in the rubble. Uh, you know, there, there's a, a lot of books here. It seems like uh, perhaps at some point this may have been some kind of library. Um mm. But looking through them, they all look pretty kind of common, unimportant things. Nothing of value, nothing you would bother bringing with you to try and sell to a collector or anything. Um, yeah. Uh, that's what's in the rubble. There's some, there's around the uh, sides of the tower, there's still kind of uh, some bookcases built into the walls. A lot of the shelves have fallen apart, but the, str- the frame of them is still there. I'd like to kind of look around and see if there are any maybe trap doors hidden beneath all right. things. All right, Deando's looking around. Deando, give me a quick perception check. Oh, it's a terrible roll. Nine perception. Nope, not seeing anything super exciting. Uh, Gwyvern, do you want to be doing anything? Uh, <clears throat> I was wondering if it would be useful to use a detect magic spell. It's possible. I don't know. I mean, the books, like, especially I'm sort of interested in. I will it. tell you. Uh, I never yeah. know when is a good time to use detect magic. <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's a magical it, fantasy world. Magic is everywhere. Well, when, it's, it, I mean, it's when like there's you, magic. Yeah, but I mean, like some people are like, it. "Yo, is the uh, is that glowing obelisk magic?" And they use detect magic, and it's like, <laughs> no, yeah. man, just LED and lighting. It's like, yeah, and then they're like, "What about this rock?" It's like the rock is not magic, so it's hard. A lot of magical things either look hella magic or not in D anD. d So um, okay. also, some of your friends are magic. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. It's, I, I never know um, when is a good time to use that. Yeah, okay. Um, well, uh, as, as a uh, intern ma- magician, <laughs> I'm going to uh, sp- uh, do, study up a little bit more on that before I okay. uh, go for it. But, but I don't know what else. Um, I want to do something that's helpful. Um, Deanda starts what, pulling books out of the bookshelves in case one of them makes something open. All right, Deanda Deanda (laughs) spends 10 minutes pulling books out of the Uh, (laughs) bookshelf. We can also check out the rest of this plateau and see if there's Uh, any A lot of them are. (laughs) Take that, books. Uh. (laughs) You never did anybody any good. I will say the use of detect magic is primarily that you see everything that is magic around you in thirty within thirty feet of you glow, and you can tell its school of magic if it has it, which can be kind of handy. If you're like, oh, that thing is glowing over there, and then you realize the school of and magic it went to is, state. yeah, that's right. Or it will create a giant <laughs> fireball if you open it. Hmm. Um. So, uh, well, well, I would like to move it move so that i'm in all right uh, you're all in the tower now yeah there's gotta be something Um, here yeah Uh, can i go this is it end of the adventure goodbye (laughs) thanks everybody tower towers are their own reward the true treasure it did take us a long time to get those the true treasure (laughs) is that locket you stole from (laughs) roscoe I did not steal. I'm going to return it. Sorry, grave robbed. Yes. To whom (laughs) are you going to return it? To the orphan, of course. To the quest. So, wait, can I get some clarification on this locket? Um, It was a picture of himself? 
Yeah, as no. a young as a young orphan. <laughs> <I'll just> say, <laughs> yeah. Picture of the cultist roof. as a young orphan. Who walks around with a locket with a picture of themselves? He's as a an young orphan. orphan. He doesn't have anybody to give it to. <laughs> <laughs> But he just, he's like, I'm going to save up and buy this expensive silver locket. No, no, no. I, th- I envisioned in his rich backstory that it, it was his parents' locket, but when they died, he took it as his only remembrance of them. Uh, I would like to lay on my hands, on Alan's hands, in her pocket, Patty cake? and in her oh, womb. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that got weird. Yeah. Consent, it first. please. Yeah. Yeah, Consent. <laughs> I'm listening. Um, Hold on, let me come out of the lurking darkness yeah. that I'm up here on the stairs. Please, please leave the shadows over the dark square so that I can uh, lay my hands on you with consent. Roll performance. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I can restore ten hit points, and ten. Wow. I totally Whoa. forgot about that. That's solid. I so, only need five. Okay. Um. I do reject I get... half of your hit points. <laughs> <laughs> can you okay. save them for someone else for you like cannot. later? Yes. It's, yeah, you're either doing well, it or not. Oh, so okay. it's, it's ten or nothing. Mm-hmm. Wait. Well, no. I mean, you, you, the, the extra five just go. You can't save the extra five. They don't. Is hurt this you, one of your they... spell spot? Uh, spell spots? Okay. Okay. Sure so let let me. So it says lay on hands pool. I have a pool of healing power that can restore ten hit points per long rest. So I can choose to give her five and just take down the five, or is it like a single? That sounds right. Okay. Any oh, number I, of you, hit you points keep remaining. the rest of them like you. You have ten for the day that yeah. you, can, you have. A, it is yeah. a pool. You can take as many yeah. out. And then okay. If you oh, still great. have some left over at the end of the month, they roll over, but only thirty percent of them. <laughs> Kathy, okay, great. I have no idea how your character works. It turns out so everything I said before was a speculation. <laughs> well, so yeah, clearly I don't know either. Well, and uh, I'm. So- I consent to your touching. <laughs> okay, thank you. Nice. I'm gonna give you. Five and confirm, and then okay, yep. Don't that, waste them. Yes, I mean I could be really mean and only give her like four, but I, that's <laughs> what are you sure? Work. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna top someone off when you're yeah, your, you know. with a cherry. When, on when that when that person Bye. later dies from See one if... with one hit point, you know, <laughs> with one, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, I didn't say anything, man. I know you didn't say anything. <laughs> you guys, I feel you I have feel healed. Keep it that way, Buster. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. You put you that feeling, finger away. You are feeling better. Um, I feel you, well rested and curious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe are, just the curious part. I don't feel well rested. <laughs> <laughs> So we here you are, Steve. in a burned out tower, <laughs> former library, just healing, just living life. What else do you want to do? Diendo runs up the stairs. All right. Diendo, you run up the stairs. Uh, you arrive on the sec- the ruins of the second floor. There's kind of uh, a stone ramparts that look out. You've got a slightly better view than you did outside the tower. You can see White Sparrow from here. Um, it's, you know, it's nice. As far as is there being in a anything tower? else that looks like maybe like a cultist's hideout or on the second floor? Like a, like need... a, of the burned is, is there tower? like a is there like a plaque that points out points of interest including square? cultist hideouts in the area? Uh, you d- fire evacuation you d- map something. Um, you d- give me a quick perception check for plaques. Sure, why not? DC five. Different die this time though. That's a twenty-two. Uh, you are looking around. Uh, it does seem like there are several markings around the uh, the ramparts here. It does seem like this uh, this tower. It's like specifically uh, oriented in different directions, with indications of where exactly is due north, due east, due south, and due west. Seems like perhaps they were doing some kind of observations from here. And as you're poking around, you also notice uh, that there is a not particularly well hidden. Uh, and in fact, there's there's kind of footprints coming and going from it. Uh, there's like a secret door at the base of the uh, the stairs. Uh, the fog of war is completely lifted. <laughs> Wait, at the base of the stairs? Yep, yep. I, I noticed that from up on the second floor, huh? Yeah, you you know what? It was one of those from up here, kind of an X marks the spots kind of situation. You could see You're down. Like, yeah, you, could, yeah. you could see that there is clearly like a trail through the rubble that had been cleared with people coming nice. and going from that from a wall. And it seemed. Everybody seemed check cons- that wall. Seem conspicuous. A lot, <laughs> oh, lot, lot of traffic the in there. and a lot of traffic in and out of that wall. Wait, Diendo, move off of it for a second. I want to see what it looks like. It's a high traffic a, wall. Is it in the like a little, little spiral staircase? Oh, I oh. see. Like, 
There well, might actually, be a Cyrus Arcade like behind, that to, uh, behind that wall. In yes. theory, there um, might be. A I yell out, hey, somebody poke that wall. I poke the poke. wall. <laughs> All right. Uh, the wall, uh, it, 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 it's, it's clearly um, not the same kind of stone construction of the rest of the tower. There's a thin stone wall uh, panel that kind of just uh, rotates in, and you see a tiny little alcove and an unlit spiral staircase, rather steep, descending into the earth. Not a dragon. Neat. Found well, let's go home. <laughs> Does anyone... Okay, um, can we do... Uh, anyone have a light? Yeah, I have dancing light. lights. Okay, or the just dancing uh, lights. Work for you this? also all have torches. Oh, oh. torches oh. are good. Oh, if they're well, not okay. a rare Some piece yeah. of gun. nature's light. Is it, have we invented a way to create artificial <laughs> light? Have we harnessed? The sun in some kind of <laughs> fire. You guys, we all have dark vision, right? I, I, that was what I was going to ask: was who had dark vision? I don't even know where to look. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, I I do too. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Wait, do I have dark vision? Where do I? You're an elf, right? Probably you must. Yeah. It says it on the senses. Yep, we got it. Yeah. I really thought you said it said it on the senses. senses? And I'm like, yeah. oh, yes. <laughs> ten years we ask everyone whether they have dark vision or not. I and have three fan. I have three <laughs> family members. I have dark vision. <laughs> yeah, you need to declare your dark vision. Did I mention that? Oh, I did I mention that senses. Roscoe was a fantasy census taker and you murdered? Him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll never get my count in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's have maybe uh, Alon and. Kaloth can go first, um, go. and then the people with the torches a little bit further back, um, just so they don't. Although, does it matter? Like the ruin night vision thing, you know how you don't want to. Main, step mainly, mainly you'd be very conspicuous uh, traveling with torches. Yeah, versus, but okay. some of you can't see in the dark, so you need. A well, way to let's see. get some rope and we'll tie it around our waist <laughs> so that we can follow along <laughs> the stairs safely. Kathy, that way, if Kathy, one of you falls, all of you fall. <laughs> Kathy, do you remember when we were friends for a long time until just now? <laughs> <laughs> I remember us still being friends. I don't know why you would imply mm. that we weren't friends mm. now. All I wanted to do was a very logical option to keep us all together so we don't get lost. That's that's what I heard. Uh, what will you do, friends? There's a dark, steep spiral staircase leading into I, the earth. I'm going to go first down the stairs. I'm going second. Up high. We high five. Woo! All right. Because we can see in the dark. Diego yeah. reaches into the part of his backpack that contains his disguise kit and pulls out a comically large mustache, which he applies to his face. <laughs> All right, <laughs> like it, like it was like a mustache that they might have sold to like a like a, a half orc or a, a or a Goliath or something like that. And so yeah. for so for a for a halfling, it is possibly it, it extends well past your head like, in, in both it's, directions. It's enormous. Well, it'll be like whiskers. You can use it to navigate yeah. in the dark. Yeah. Truly <laughs> magnificent. <laughs> it gives you better balance, actually. Yeah, because I've got a disguise kit in my pack and i'm damn well gonna use it before All i right. never play this character you are again. now you are now disguised no one will recognize you as diendo at excellent all right all right hold on right. we'll take the up the drawing. rear so you head down into the dark stairwell Dan, what do they win <laughs> not much <laughs> um well they uh as they've descended into the dark stairwell i would say keyloth you are in the lead yep uh -oh. yes <laughs> Um, as you're strange. just sort of happily walking down, because that's who Keyloth is, you hear yeah. a little, you feel a little tension along your ankle at one point, and hear a click, and that click is followed rapidly by a crossbow bolt shooting at you. Oh no! Dang it! Uh, let's see what kind of <laughs> yelling. Dang it! it does. We're down in the tunnel. Uh, Sixteen versus AC. Uh, does not hit. <gasps> wow. Whoa. You That's why I go first. Shield, shield up, shield up yeah. in time. It yep. bangs, bangs off the shield, and you see the crossbow bolt uh, lying there on the ground. It is thoroughly warped from hitting your shield. Uh, you also notice that it is conspicuously dripping poison from the bolt. It wasn't Ooh, me. Could tried. be jam. Could be jam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to taste it. Yeah, that's how. Well, that's how you tell if something's poison or not. You yeah. just. <laughs> I've watched a lot of cop shows, right? They always yeah. do the. Yeah. One little finger. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cops love drugs. Um, and so. <laughs> and you continue. <laughs> we just got canceled. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you continue down, down into the earth. Down, Just, uh, down, da, 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 down you Take go. you here to a new map. Is that all loading for everybody? Stop. Yes. I can see the map. Yeah. All right. I have placed you near a hallway, but not on a hallway. I'm going to slide you there. It's not actually the order that you were in. I'm going to rearrange you a little bit. There you go. Uh, on a hallway so, is my cousin. Oh, sorry. Go for it. Hmm? Everything good? Oh, I made yes. a joke. I said, on a hallway is my cousin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth uh, repeating. And- <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear it the first time, and I enjoyed it. So, yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, there's a very important updated image in the Slack um, with uh, Dando's mustache, just mm. to. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Oh, Fantastic. very nice. And clarify. Oh, no. <laughs> Do I have to put that in? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. It's important. <laughs> you, need to, you need to stop It is also right wearing now. his mustache, mustache inspector, inspector shirt. Dan, so. are you, are, Dan, are you loading that in or am I? <laughs> I almost forgot about the mustache inspector shirt. I did too. Uh, and he's like, oh, good. Please put that in. This is one that I previously inspected and it passed. All right, hold on a second while I do the I'm thing sorry. to do the thing to amuse Steve. Whoops! Oh my god, oh, that is much yeah. too large. That's no, that's not. <laughs> this guy is a giant. You guys said the mustache is really big. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. There we go. You go away. And <laughs> who me? No, the, oh, the, yeah. the mustache yes, one. Yes, Steve. Yes. You go away. Oh, okay. Get out. I'm good with that. Now your DN don't. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Yendo Sindelar. <laughs> we have loaded. Oh, wait. I, I, I actually spelled Diendo. my spear. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I literally spelled Diendo wrong because people said Diendo as I was typing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have loaded Steve's comical icon into Roll20. I hope it was happy. Yay. Now, someone has, to, someone has to edit that out. So, uh, eventually, you are, you're traveling down. It's unclear how many um, flights of stairs as the spiral staircase goes deeper and deeper into the earth, uh, but eventually it ends, and you arrive at a kind of curved hallway that curves off um, to, the, uh, to the south. Um, there, there are a couple uh, torches in sconces here, and... Uh, uh, yeah, that's what you see. It looks like there's some kind of chamber around the corner. Probably a good idea. Uh, let's do some investigation. <laughs> this time that's, or perception. Which sure. one would we do? Uh, like perception for, is your classic. I don't know, traps. Look for okay. traps. Okay. Perception then. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16 plus 1, so 17. Uh, the hallway seems untrapped. Cool. Anyone else want to? No, that. I'm okay. a minus one perception, solid. so I'm going to let you guys handle that. <laughs> uh, you want a perception? Well, I don't know. I'm always I'm very concerned when there are no traps. Couldn't hurt after to have just more getting than one a trap. You weren't you weren't yeah, concerned about that hallway that was full of traps. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I forgot well, that there were traps down. potentially. Our Believe concern has. I just I appreciate yeah. the player reaction of like never care about a thing. Get hurt by it once. <laughs> Care about it forever. Yes. Statues. Yep. I mean, statues yeah. are bad. Right, well, that is that is one of the the ethoses of this podcast, and honestly, my life. Statues, yeah. are questionable <laughs> at best. I just got a twelve ethos? perception. That's I don't so think fancy. it was much of anything, though. Yeah. Well, you know, I went to college, Steve. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna go. Let's. let's All right. Yeah. Um. So you it um, you're gonna so <laughs> Kiloth leads the way around the corner. Uh, I can tell you you're gonna see a large chamber beyond that I will reveal. I'm just gonna reveal the whole thing. Ooh, do you think that's a chamber of secrets? Um, ooh, well, ooh, it's ooh. a secret chamber. Does anyone it, speak parcel tongue? I will just tell you uh, in speak the adventure draconic. in the adventure as written. This is called the Death Room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know if you're gonna let them in on that. I was like, that's too that's too good a room to name to just leave only for me to enjoy. Uh and Kilov, yeah. just from where you can see looking around the corner into this very large square chamber, uh, the first thing that you notice is that there are a half dozen hacked up corpses scattered around the middle of the room. Oh. They're not, they're not on the map. Use your imagination. Okay. I no uh, longer those, feel bad about killing Raska. Those corpses are wearing... <laughs> he um, didn't kill them. <laughs> yeah. th- those corpses are wearing black and purple robes, similar to 
Raska and Theron and all of the <laughs> other Cult of Dusk members you have met so far. Question. Are they all wearing Nike sneakers? Because I think I've seen this before. <laughs> um, well, they're wearing white, <laughs> off-brand, uh, generic tennis shoes, but, you know. Okay. Different. Cuts. They're not the Cult of Chucks, then, mm. is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. This, oh, these are the Heaven's Goat nice. people. They're oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there is a, uh, there's some kind of map uh, in the in the center of the chamber on the floor, engraved into the floor. You can see it kind of, it catches the torchlight, it kind of glitters. Um, you also see um, there's several alcoves all, all in the various corners of this room, and in each of those, there's it looks like kind of a, a large suit of armor um, holding uh, curved blades. Why did I have to mention statues? I know. I'm sure What's this is on the eastern heavy, wall over there. There's a heavy set of stone double doors on the eastern Dumbledore's? wall. Double doors? <laughs> I just want to clarify, Tony, just to add to the, the creepiness factor. It's not that the armor is holding blades I, that instead was, of hands. Yeah, I was going to say that when they blades. got closer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Goody. Maybe, maybe these are just armor worn Innocent. by people. Yeah. Blade hands. Do the corpses appear to have been chopped to bits by, say, oh. somebody's blade hands? Uh, get much closer Tony and roll blade medicine. Hands. I'd so. rather not. Uh, <laughs> stay back there and roll medicine. <laughs> I, I'm actually around the corner. I can't even see what's going mm. on over there. <laughs> hey, Keelah, so it looks they fine, y'all. <laughs> Let's, uh, I'll go here. So and have just a doctor. give some more space. Yeah. <laughs> doctor, doctor. Yeah, I'll run. I'll roll medicine. Uh, I got a 15. Uh, they seem like they have been cut up by some kinds of giant blades. Cool. Giant so blades. Fine. Well, large cool. blades. Cool. Not <laughs> like bigger, bigger than not butter knives. Size blade. Uh, if I roll Arcana, what does that do? Um, lots of things. Or Arcana, Arcana. Uh, what yes, do you, you want? Can. Ricola. <laughs> <laughs> well, from back there, you can determine that the hallway is not arcane. <laughs> <laughs> from there, you can turn determine that the entryway into the room is not arcane. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right yeah <laughs> thank you okay all are right these corpses just strewn around oh, or are they all piled on top of the map in the center no they are strewn about it as if they perhaps died in battle okay i rolled 17 um all right i'm just gonna add some corpses to the map so that you guys yeah please right. do oh, thank you oh thank you Thanks. corpses for flavor yeah, that, that, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, just one very <laughs> large corpse. Yeah, just one. one well, it's like Halloween de decorations, you know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, skeleton. they have a Got really big new corpse yeah. at Home Depot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was mainly annoyed that I didn't have a corpse that was wearing like a purple robe. Um, there we go. That's six, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, six corpses. Yeah, it looks like they were probably um, uh, died in battle. Uh, some of their weapons are scattered around. Uh, they had their, their jeweled daggers of the kind that you saw on Theron uh, and, and other Cult of Dust members, but they look like they have died in battle. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, Alon, you were trying to do something arcane. Um, um, I don't know, just trying to learn. It, it's Does that teach me about the space? Uh, yeah, I... you know, looking around, I am going to say, what, what did you roll? Uh, 17. That's really good. Uh, I'm going to tell you that you rep you uh, look at a variety of things. You notice that on the floor that there is this um, kind of map uh, of the stars, and it's surrounded by uh, a circle of ancient script. Oh, it's and where you Joe Pesci lives. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and you can determine uh, that, that you, you, you decipher the glyphs around uh, the, uh, the, the map. Um, the, the map of the sky and uh, determine that it, it says uh, written in the glyphs uh, there's, there's a message uh, it says only with the light of the gods will the path be clear only the penitent man may pass mm. <laughs> anybody have any light of the gods on there's them radiant damage <laughs> um, <laughs> might How be about us oh, that's, yeah. this is probably Keyless thing yeah it worked mm. well with the other the shadows things. yeah, yeah. can Dude, we uh, gone uh, around the corner and wants to take a look at this statue in the northeast corner here all right i'm gonna say also as you're looking around you do notice that in, in addition to the um there's six corpses of hacked up uh, uh um, cult members there's also some bits of um 
looks like they were probably uh, pieces of armor scattered among them. Hmm. Okay. That look, look similar to the armor suits in the alcoves. Ah. Oh. Can you tell us about the ceiling? That changes everything. <laughs> um, the ceiling looks like they really went all in on the uh, the the uh, the tiny crystal stars in the floor. The ceiling is kind of just uh, they phoned it in. Uh, Nobody ever shows light. you the ceilings in D and D maps. <laughs> light, 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 light tile work, you know, kind of a checkered pattern. Uh, I got a whopping eight on my perception check on this statue up here. Uh, well, you know, I will tell you, uh, even with an eight, you perceive that it is not a statue but a suit of armor. Um, it's rather uh, heavy duty looking. It does look like it certainly would be inhabited by a creature considerably larger than yourself, um, Diendo. It well, looks like every creature. Well, no, I mean, there's other halflings out there. Um, and it does, <laughs> it does look like it is, uh, it's a very strange kind of ancient style. It's somewhat ornate. Uh, you look in through the grill of the, the, the suit of armor and it looks empty. And again, and it says, as, yo, get out of my grill. <laughs> as Dan mentioned, <laughs> These are the jokes. Um, are jokes. they? <laughs> well, that was that was a joke, technically. Um, <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah, technically. Um, okay. And again, the uh, where where you would normally perhaps have uh, gauntlets or hands, these have long curved blades. Uh, in Does this one I'm looking at seem like it's missing a piece or two here and there? Um. Uh. Yeah. It does look like maybe some some of the pieces have uh have been are, are among the uh the bits. On the floor. Yeah, this seems bad. Yeah. I don't like it. Don't touch any of them, maybe. <laughs> is there just any the indication uh, that Just the, let me just check. Um, right now, right now, right now. Who's, what is everyone touching? No, I'm they, not they, touching yeah. anything. Uh, do you really want false, to know the you're answer you're all touching to that, the Tony? floor. Um, so. <laughs> I mean, Alan has her hand in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> is there any indication that any of the cultists were... Previous to being chopped up into bits, um, trying to maybe like set up some candles or do some sort of a ritual or something. Doesn't seem like there's anything like that. There's several. Uh, it looks like there's there's some bloody handprints uh, on the door. Looks like maybe they were trying to get through that door. Cool. I feel like we need to find a way to get the sun. And again, in what here. kind of doors are those? They are what we would traditionally call double doors. A pair of doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the French, French, French doors. doors. Fantasy Le French doors. Yeah. Uh, oh, as we call them goblin doors. Uh, yeah. Goblin doors. <laughs> they are they are stone double doors. The cult of doors. <laughs> um I am going to carefully walk around the outside of the the thing and mm -hmm. inspect the doors. She's a buffalo girl. Mm. <laughs> um you inspect the doors. Um, well, they're they're large. There's two of them because they are double doors. They are made out of stone. Um, they have some kind of like astronomy type motifs uh, worked into the stone. Seems like similar to the design of the uh, the 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 map of uh, stars on the floor. Okay. So mm -hmm. I think we need to figure this map out, and then maybe the door is open. Well. <clears throat> I, I don't this? necessarily want to touch the doors, but I am also wondering if, like, I can poke it and if they open. Because um, <laughs> we haven't tried the doors to open since, like, yes, there's bloody handprints, but they may have been unlocked now. But I don't necessarily want to touch it. It's Well, I mean, <laughs> one suggests that the bloody handprint happened after they got attacked by the statues, so maybe That's they true. were trying to escape that way, but... It's also possible they came down here with bloody hands and yeah. you know, just Col don't Coltists have great are always like slashing the yeah. palm Could, of their hand right. open mm -hmm. for stupid yeah. reasons. So, a lot, lot of, yeah. Could also just be jam. It's not. It's blood. Yeah. I mean, it is the cult of dust. They're not great at cleaning up after themselves. No. It's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, I'm going to push the door just to see if it opens. Oh, boy. Diendo steps back from the statue quickly. <laughs> I think all of you should roll initiative. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> as you push on the door, uh, the door is uh, firmly uh, locked. Uh, 
Kalof, and uh, I think you all sense movement from around the various parts of the chamber. What's yeah, happening, I sensed Dan? a movement, all right. Uh, yeah, you're sensing some movements, that's right. Uh, there is some clanking and some rusted screeching as the suits of armor you investigated earlier sort of slowly and jerkily move off their little uh, plinths and their niches and step out into the room. There's a lot of them. Yes, I'm going to tell you specifically... Uh, four of them animated. It looks like some of them may have uh, taken some damage previously uh, or otherwise choose not to move forward. Let me just uh, move some around on the map here. So specifically, uh, four are going to take forward. So you, um, the, the icons for these are going to look a little bit different than the kind of map map statues, okay, if you will. Thank you. Hopefully that will be sticked to now. Dan, you want to roll uh, initiative for these uh, right. these creatures? Do, 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 do. So, four, basically one in each corner of the room. Several other uh, suits of armor stand motionless. The uh, armor this is, will uh, go... Oh. No, I was just going to say, this isn't going to be great. <laughs> the armor will act on an 11. All right, uh, I am adding you all to the turn order. You should put in your initiative if you have not already. Three fourteens. <laughs> wow. I have, what are the odds? Have fun. At least you're consistent. Woo. Okay. Jean, what did you get? That I got a, a five, and it just okay. There. It there goes. we go. All right, let me sort these. Um, what are your initiative? Are there four fourteens? <laughs> three four three fourteens. Uh, oh, I see Diendo twice from last time. Um, oh, now there's no Diendo in our. Oh, no, I Diendo. just I deleted their oh, own. No. <laughs> Diendo disappears from the planet. There we go. Uh, nice what timing. are the uh, What are your modifiers? Because that we can sort you by. I'm a plus one. I'm a plus three. I am also a plus three. Uh, <laughs> Tiff, Tiff, and and and, uh, and Steve, quick roll a d20. Whoever gets higher goes first. All right, eleven. One. All right. So <laughs> the order ones. of combat here will be. Uh, where did the? Yeah, you, you didn't put the armor in yet. Haha. Uh -huh. uh, what? What are they? They were in eleven. Did? Eleven. The order of combat will be. Oh, that. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> the right. order of combat will be. Tony, the, take it away. The order of combat will be Alan, followed by Diendo, followed by Kiloth, followed by four hulking suits of animated armor. These are totally unique to this adventure. You've definitely never seen animated armor before in Total Party Kill. They've definitely oh, not been given a disparaging nickname in the Undermountain Adventure. You've never have seen animated armor like this before. Followed by Gwyvern, followed by Not a Dragon, followed by Gwyvern again. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I only what see did one. I do I mean, wrong? Yeah, I only I see, see one, one too. She can take two turns if she wants. That's uh, Gene, yeah. you rolled a five. You said uh, I'm a five. I should be. All the right. Last. I think I I forgot to delete people when I removed them from the last map. All right. There's five of you there. There's animated armor. I'll move on one t on the same turn. Alan, take it away. I am gonna cast fog oh, that's cloud. Calgon, take it away, Tony. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to cast Fog Cloud, mm. and that creates a 20-foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. So I'm going to center it in the middle of the room. Okay. Oh, man. Who had Chipotle? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, and it lasts for the duration or until a wind of moderate or greater speed dispenses it. All right. I put a big gray square on the map. How's that? Is that 20? <laughs> uh, roughly. Uh... It's a, okay. it's a sphere, isn't it? It's a sphere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll notice I made a square because that was what was easier to draw. <laughs> and, and what does that fog do? It obscures things. <laughs> Job <Okay>. done. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. I helped. <laughs> I helped. <me. laughs> I guess the idea is you can hide in there? I, I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? That's a sphere. Yeah. All right. Is it it's 20? Good for, it's good for Heidi types, I guess. 20 feet. 20 feet diameter or 20 foot radius? 20 foot radius. 20 foot radius? Get that That's the whole That's, the whole room. Room. <laughs> That's right. Oh my God. <laughs> Nobody can see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, he's loving welcome. this map. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm making the inside of the sphere transparent, but guess what? Just imagine there's fog everywhere because that's what's happening. <laughs> All right. I am no. unclear. Yeah, I don't. Is that, 
Is that a We're all topic? unclear now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so everything is lightly obscured, is what you said. Um, it's uh, the center on the po- uh, the sphere spreads around corners, and the area is heavily obscured. Mm. Great, that's, that's Even- twice as wide as it should be. Oh. So, heavily obscured means anybody in that area effectively suffers from the blinded condition. So, nobody in there can see anything. (laughs) So, we can't see anything. Yep. And so, I think Gwervin might be the only person outside of that. Yeah. What? 20 foot radius, Uh, not diameter. 20 foot radius. That's four (laughs) squares. Should be eight squares. Yeah. (laughs) Geometry. It's the whole room. (laughs) All right. No, it's it's four squares for for the radius. For the radius, right? Yeah. But the, the diameter. Uh, I'm sorry, be... did she say radius? Oh, she said yeah. radius. 20 foot oh, radius. Geez. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is the weirdest combat tactic yeah. I've ever seen. I don't know if you're supposed to use this inside. <laughs> was this one of those things where it was like, when you're startled, you admit a 20 foot radius? <laughs> I, just, I feel like, this just, just, you know what? This is, you, I feel like everyone's going to learn a lot from this. <laughs> I, just, I, got really, I got really startled and I and I panicked and I went, Poof, and like yeah. all of a sudden, no one can see. <laughs> All right. I only know what's oh out. My god. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed, you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh my god. Where is everybody? <laughs> is this my friend well, or a suit of armor that's trying to kill you, me? I don't know. Let me just the ask, rest of us don't necessarily know that you did that. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> probably this is maybe this is part of the, the cavern's play it off. defenses. Yeah. Uh, guys, this is really this? weird. This is crazy. It maybe. must be the, the cult of Dust. Yeah, cult of fog. <laughs> I like the idea what is, that a lot what of is, like pointing is, at somebody, but no one can see her. <laughs> what is what is what is fog but dust in movement? <laughs> um, right. So, so the this extra cool thing about this homework. is that these suits of the armor probably totally don't have eyes and don't see by some conventional <laughs> means anyway, so they're fine. <laughs> they are immune. Oh, to, no. did, they are immune to being blinded. They this are immune to being blinded. Oh god. <laughs> They, in fact, they literally have blind, they have blind sight. sight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a very important question. How long does the spell last? Yeah, how long does it last? And can you remove it? I cannot remove it, and it lasts forever until a wind comes. Whoa. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> it must have a... Uh, oh, a duration up to one hour. Oh, 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 oh. Is it a concentration oh, spell? <laughs> Because if it's a concentration yeah, spell, then one of us could go and like punch you, and then it I mean, stop. Oh, just stop. <laughs> 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 just, just it, is. It, says con- it says concentration up to one hour. Okay, okay, you just means, turn it off at will. Then. Yeah, that means you, you can, can stop whenever, whenever you want. <laughs> you can stop concentrating. <laughs> Tiff is a very important <laughs> understanding. <laughs> I like no, no, no. Alan is curried favor with the armor. <laughs> can now murder with impunity anybody in this room. <laughs> it is basically like the armor is activated. The armor is wearing like night vision goggles and Alon is like, let me turn out the lights. <laughs> with this really mischievous grin. Like, <laughs> um, All right. Alon, is that your, that's that was, your turn? That was a choice. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to go with it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Diendo, you're in the middle of a fog cloud. So you're not going to let her like get distracted by something as a as a free action. Or something? You could use a bonus action to not have this anymore. I believe it does not require an action to stop concentrating on something, if I recall correctly. Oh. Diendo trips into me, and I stop concentrating. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to poke her with my spear to Is keep that, her from. Are you making? Are you making? Do, do you, uh, Alon, do you want the fog to immediately dissipate? I mean, you spent your turn making it happen. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to try and use it to our advantage. Oh, God. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Choices. Wait, no, no. I, I, I don't see how I'm very curious to know how that would work. <laughs> all right, all so right. They can see and we can't. Yeah, they can see. <laughs> you can. We all right. cannot. All right, wait. You I'm gonna, can I'm gonna... end concentration at any time, no action required. Nice. Okay, I just, um, I wave my arms and... <laughs> All right. and away. And Every, just, you're just making an entrance. Diendo, the room, yeah. like, the room was da-da-da. filled with the room was filled with fog, <laughs> and it, you know it really it played off of the uh, the the strobe lights in the uh, in the in the floor. <laughs> going. I have my and, scarves. I pull out of my sleeve, and, and then it's I... gone. <laughs> Everyone's like, "That was okay. weird." <laughs> so, Diendo says, "What the hell was that?" <laughs> oh. <sighs> Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe, maybe, maybe a lot is the villain of this adventure. We don't know. This, this, might, is, this might be my favorite combat turn. This, it would be that we've ever, this very ever ironic. Ever don't you think? <laughs> so, Diendo, it is your turn. You're no longer in a cloud. What would you like to do? More, more oh, pyrotechnics than I was expecting at this yeah. show. Huh. Um, yeah, so Diendo is a little confused. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But suddenly appears to be somewhat inebriated, so maybe there was a little something in that fog. Who knows? <laughs> um, and heads over to the west a couple of squares to this suit of armor that's in the northwest corner. Menacing you with its giant sword hands. Hello. Yes. I don't like being menaced, so I am going to uh, jab it with my spear for starters. Mm-hmm. And then I will try to punch it in the codpiece. <laughs> Twice. Uh, the spear is a 20 versus AC. That'll hit. Marvelous. To the tune of... Oh, God, it's got to be a one. Uh, four piercing damage. All right, noted. And we will follow that out. Follow that up with two solid punches. Hopefully. Uh, one solid, one less so, a 24 and a 9. All right, the 24 obviously hits. Okay, that 24 will do. Oop, fell off. Uh, six bludgeoning damage. All right. And then, um, Diendo takes a step backwards and appears to trip. And suddenly he's about... Three squares away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Kaloff, I think you are next. All right. I would like to run up to... We'll do this one. And smack it with my longsword. A uh, thirteen. A thirteen will not hit an ar- a Dang suit it. of armor. They are quite sturdy. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. Okay. Dan, do you want to control our robot friends? Uh, let's start out with the one just next to Kilof, as it's still sort of like cranking away it like takes its big bladed hand and makes like a swipe at Kiloth there uh and that will be a nine doesn't hit it's a little Just... jerky still like it maybe it hasn't been like oiled in a while and it's like clink, 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 and you, you're easily able to kind of like step out of the way of it but it seems to be loosening up as it goes so it may not be that rusty for long uh, Royal these cat. guys over here start, uh, uh, Tony, you want to give me control of these mm-hmm. guys? Uh, so I would say the one that Diendo, uh, attacked starts taking some, like, slow, clanking, halting steps towards him. And it does the same sort of thing where it, like, brings up its bladed hand and brings it down at Diendo, and it gets a 22. That'll hit. You will take five slashing damage from its sword. Hmm. Uh, The other two from across the way start clanking upwards towards the, uh, the, let's see, one goes up towards Keyloth, and one makes it over almost to Diendo, but it's still, it's kind of moving slowly and jerkily. Uh, so one up at Keyloth will take one more bladed swipe at her with 13. Nope. Okay, so. Not a dragon. There are four suits of animated armor converging on you. They look tough. They look menacing. They are metal and magic fused into one purpose to murder you. Uh, Nana Dragon's going to outstretch his hand right over Diendo's head, because mm-hmm. Diendo is quite short, and cast Witch Bolt at the one on witch the other bolt. side of Diendo. Wait, Witch Bolt? What bolt? 
So bolt this the other bolt. bolt. Okay. Um, Thank you. And I'm going to roll 21. All right. Right in the chest plate. Roll damage. That will be three lightning damage. All right. And this is a concentration spell so it'll where continue I get to, to just keep doing it every turn uh, until somebody stops me, basically. So. Somebody stop me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 Dan. <laughs> somebody <laughs> don't stop. Okay. Uh, and then Nana Dragon will kind of try to move a little bit farther away from them. All right. Toward the Towards other one. the other two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, there's not a you're, lot of options. You're equidistant yeah. between all four of them. Equal yeah. access <laughs> for all of those. Maybe I'll go. Uh, my movement is 30. I guess I'll go down here. All right. Try to stay away. Yeah, there's Here's a decent the sized room. Mm-hmm. Maybe play dead. Like one of those corpses. I'm confused between the corpses and the statues. <laughs> all right. Uh, Gwervin, you stand basically kind of in the threshold to the chamber. Um... Alon and Diendo are right near you. Uh, there's one suit of armor basically also right by the doorway and three other ones in the chamber. Uh, I'm not sure what you want to do. <clears throat> um, well, I'm looking at my bag of tricks and my weapons and... Um, pew, pew! Pew, pew. I don't have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a gun. Isn't that the sound I... that a crossbow makes? Pew pew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So I. I mean, that's what I was. Uh, so I have a. Um. I have a question, just maybe for future reference on the, the, uh, uh, suits of armor. Are they vulnerable to thunder? power they are not you don't know but you don't have any reason to think that they would be vulnerable to that okay uh, which means you know they're just normal in that yeah, nobody v- vulnerable no, in, no. in D means they take double damage yeah yeah so you think they're they're probably yeah. not resistant or vulnerable they probably feel, okay. feel ambivalent about it about the same as okay, most people I feel see. okay uh, uh okay so when i said vulnerable i just meant like would it do anything against yeah it would them, be not good for them Okay, um, but it only has a fifteen foot range in the shape of a cube. Um, so, uh, and the grid is a five foot. Um, yep. So theoretically, marks. if you wanted, so I think you're thinking about Thunder Wave, is my guess. Yeah. Um, Thunder Wave is a fifteen foot cube, so you basically run up and cast Thunder Wave, and a cube in front of you is filled with bad stuff for people. Um, it so the 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 suits of armor are somewhat spread out, right? There's kind of two on the yeah. in the middle, and then two over on the uh, other wall with with Kilaf. So you could only catch two of them. Like if you ran up ne- and stood next right. to Alon, I bet you could catch these two with a Thunder Wave if you wanted mm-hmm. to do that, which would uh, totally do damage to them. I believe it also has the chance of knocking them back out across the room um which might give you some more yeah mo- movement space okay well, let's go with with that so i could i can move to the same uh we'll put your like right uh, there like okay is that good so you and you move cl- into the door close enough to both of them yep oh yeah 15 because i have yep. 15 uh, oh, getting it confused with my my minuscule five foot uh uh weapons that I would actually have to stand really close to them. All right. So if I stand there, and I, so thunder, this is a wave of thunderous force. Yep. And nope. uh, very few creatures like uh, that. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, apparently the shadows w- was com- since they were shadows, didn't care. Uh, I, I did not use it on them. Um, all right. So I roll my twenty. I think mm-hmm. you do not. They roll oh. to make oh, a okay. saving throw, I believe. Okay. I will roll constitution saving throws. Armors are not bad at constitution, but also not particularly good at constitution. So mm-hmm. let's say guy on the top, guy on the bottom. Guy on the top rolled a 19 total. Guy mm-hmm. on the bottom rolled an 8. So the southern one is totally going to get hit. Now, one of the nice things about Thunder Wave Gene is that it even does damage on a miss. If they successfully save, they still take half damage, and they don't get knocked around. So you get to roll, Uh I believe, 2d8 thunder damage. 
So you roll two of okay, your d8s. Yeah. I have to roll twice, yep. I believe. Um, all right. I got a one and a six. All right. So uh, the first one is only going to take three damage. The other one is going to take seven damage, and it gets flung. How far? Uh, ten, uh no, a, a sex, successful save. Um, I don't I know. I think it's ten it, feet. Does... I think it's ten feet. Yeah. Okay. I think that's right. So it's going to get pushed across the map there. The other one gets nice. kind of takes a little bit of damage in the face. Um. And is unhappy. Um, <laughs> That's good because I. Um, but yeah, and I the uh, thunder smiling. wave is extremely loud. There's basically an explosion from Guevern, and b- probably anyone anywhere nearby heard this. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that would be my. Um. I think my that was your move and, and then- your action. Uh, can I add, uh, as a bonus action, uh, Bardic Inspiration? Yeah, who do you want to inspire? Let's see. Um, I don't know if the endo is inspirable. Um. (laughs) It's very cynical, that one. (laughs) Um, anybody. He might be too uh, inspired. (laughs) Six, yes. Six, I think anyone you can use 60 it on feet to hit, away. But not damage, They're, is that right? That's correct. Everybody is within 60 feet of you, so it's, yeah, it's okay, totally right. your choice who, who, of okay, your four friends and, uh, who is most worthy of being inspired right can, now. You can add, I roll a, a one, um, so you just, six, and you, that creature can add it. Uh, and they basically, next, you, you're they essentially save. giving them the die, like, so they can yeah. have a if die, and you don't have to roll it now. They get to keep the die oh. and then roll it when they use it. Yeah. If we were okay, playing in person, you would actually hand them a die traditionally and they would uh, hang on to it and remember that they have it. So choose <laughs> okay. choose choose a person. Um let me look at the well, I think I will, will give it to Alon uh, okay. so they can use it next. All right. Speaking of Alon, you are next. I need to be inspired after my <laughs> performance. And let's let's remind ourselves how uh Bardic Inspiration works. I believe you can save it. I think you're inspired for a while, but it's a one-time use. Ten minutes, which is a long time in combat. Um, Okay. And you can decide, you can roll, say, an attack, or you could attempt to do something, and if you, is is this true, Dan, if you feel like, "Mm, that wasn't great, I want to use the Bardic Inspiration to get closer? Yeah. Normally, you you would not know whether or not you succeeded, but you would know what your roll was. So you're like, oh, I rolled rolled a 19, I don't need this. I rolled a 3. I might need this, but maybe it won't make enough of a difference because yeah. remember it's only plus six. But if we're right in that middle area, a lot of times, like ooh, a twelve, will a twelve do it? Eh, I don't know. Then that might be a good time to use it. So okay, okay. take it away, Tiff. Uh, All right, I have um, double uh, sword, double doors. Fighting. <laughs> so <laughs> double doors. That's, well, we're having trouble with those earlier. Uh, yeah, so I have two weapon fighting. Does that mean I roll twice? So w- the way two weapon fighting works, and you do you specifically have that as a fighting style, or does it? I have a bonus action in it's combat. On everyone's two weapon yeah, fighting. she does a bonus action because it's a thing. Technically, everyone can theoretically, do everyone can do it if you have two weapons that are light weapons that you use. So I like, have two short swords. You have short, short swords. swords? Yep, two short swords is fine. The only difference is unless you have like a specific type of fighting style, the second one won't do as much damage. You don't get to add your bonus to it. Unless that you actually have, uh, I think it's like dual wielder is the oh, fight I think I have fighter thing. Yeah, it's I think a, I might have that. You you may have that. Keen it would be under your uh, like oh. features. I think like class features or something. I'm like proficiencies. Oh no, you don't because you you're might an have archer. The archery one you're an archer. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can do it. You can totally do it. You get to attack twice. Um, it's mm-hmm. just that your second one, if you hit, you won't get to add your your modifier to the damage dealt. Okay. Um, all right, I'll go with the, the crossbow then. Okay. You're going to have to step away from that suit of armor, though. Unless she Since goes after. Oh, but that one's going to be around everybody. If you're up in its face, it might be better to take two whacks at it with the sword then. Okay, yeah, I'll go with the sword then. Uh, the, short, the two short swords. All right. At the one that's closest to me. And uh, five plus five, so that was a ten. 
Uh, you, you swing, and the armor kind of rotates out of the way just in time. For it. Um, oh, wait. But I have Bardic Inspiration, right? You can That's decide on that one. Oh, yeah. Also, <laughs> It's too late? It would, it's not going to help you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you cannot roll high enough on that one, unfortunately. You, okay. you missed my significant quantity. <laughs> I'm not so good with the sword, you guys. That's okay. But you get to try, <laughs> try again. Try the second one. Try yeah, the second, second one. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, good. You might be a left handy. Yeah, maybe. Uh, 15. <laughs> 15. Uh, 15 that, is not quite shit. enough either. This time it, it gets a, it raises one of its sword arms and is is going to block unless you feel inspired bardically. I feel inspired bardically. I'm going to <laughs> bardically right. inspire uh, I, myself. I believe you have to roll a d6 and d6. hope that you roll high enough to uh um to hit the suit of armor. 6 Woo! All right, that Yay! was yeah. So you the, the suit of armor is going to uh to to block, and you do like a spin and slice under its arm and catch so it cool. there. Uh, so now this was with your offhand, right? So you don't do as much damage. Is that how it works? Yeah, just roll the die of damage, just the die. and it's just the die value. Six. Nice. Wow. All right. That's six nice. around. I will tell you that that suit of armor is not looking great. It has taken a decent amount of damage from all. It's of what you. we call rusty. Yes. Rusted? <laughs> Rusted? Rusted? Yeah. I'll tell you, the other three Tin roof. Minted, minted box. Ready to kill. Um, <laughs> Dando. All right. Well, I'm going to try and jab a spear into this somewhat messed up suit of armor to mm -hmm. my west. That is a 24 versus AC. Hit. Love it. And that'll do nine points of damage. All right. It is kind of teetering on its mechanical feet. I guess they're not me mechanical. They're, they're magic. magical. Magical feet. Magical. Magical. Okay. Does it look uh, really close to falling to pieces? It, it does not look it's good. Very sad. I would not buy. I would not buy this. Like this is the this is the kind of suit of armor. This is beyond. Um, this is not like Craigslistable. This is like not like on the curb, and a lot of people are walking past. If it. you're <laughs> used, I can, if your used armor salesman tries to sell this to you, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, be like this is like you know, scratch. Like someone's sale. like, oh, let's bring it home. And it's like we don't need another project. <laughs> I can <laughs> witch bolt him again my next turn. So if you want to go and hit one of the other ones, you can. That's an interesting. Is your witch bolt uh, likely to hit? Witch, Does it have a real high probability? The one the thing to subsequent note, ones don't. You don't roll. You just do it. Perfect. The only thing to note: not a dragon. You go after the right. That the is armor true. Goes. Yeah, interesting. It's but a, it's probably not going to gonna disengage. So, but it might take a punch at you, or at uh, Guirvan or Alan, who are both next to you or next to it. Um, you know, I'm going to actually, I'm going to kick in my flurry of blows. And because I'm using that, um, I'll be able to apply a little drunken technique, which gives me disengage. Mm. So, uh, after jabbing it with my spear, I sort of tip over backwards and go, whoa, 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 whoa. And stagger backwards <laughs> about four squares. <laughs> And um, end up adjacent to this other suit of armor, and then I will try to kick it twice. All right. In the shins. Clang, clang. <laughs> clang, the clang, monks. clang, goes the monks. Shins the against the animated armor. So <laughs> that is a 16 and a 19. The 19 hits, the 16 does not. You may That's... be figuring out what the armor class of an animated armor is. Dang <laughs> it. <laughs> And that is sucky. Hang on a second. I got to look at it. Uh, what is that on a scale? You have a sucky modifier. Very low. Um, oh, I can't reroll those. It's only on attacks or ability checks or saving throws. That's unfortunate. So that will do four bludgeoning damage. All right. Noted. And you Kill know off. what? You know what? Oh. Dando? Um, I'm actually going to continue moving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I kick it on the way by, and I've moved one, two, dance, three little squares. Monk, dance. <laughs> so I'm I'm falling over backwards with my hands waving, going whoa, 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 whoa. And as I pass by the suit of armor, a foot kicks out. 
Dumpling kicks it in the shins. Dumbling backwards like 30 feet. That's a long way. To, you're also that's, only very small. I'm very small. That's that's how it works. Um, and then I continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back into the corner. I, <laughs> nobody puts the endo in the corner. <laughs> Except the endo. Kayla, c- congratulations. You are Yay. already sandwiched by horrible magic metal monsters. Yeah, but it's a good thing the other ones got multiple hits uh i'm gonna go after this one right here and i have switched to separate unicorn dice because clearly those ones need to go in the corner um and uh let's see how this works uh i rolled a 16 which plus four is a 20 so i that will hit these dices i finally get to roll i think the plur- pretty sure the plural of dices is dees I don't Dices. care <laughs> what the official one is. <laughs> Dices. It's it's not it's not Dice. No, it's not. It's Dice. 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 Uh, Dice. Over there. Dice. Dam and Dice. Damage yeah. Dice. Dice. Uh, hey, I'm Dice in here. Hey. It's pronounced Diceling. Hey. Yeah. Um, oh, like a dice, like a. And if you had a sphere full of them, it would be a Dyson sphere. Uh, please, <laughs> K- Kathy, please stop us from talking. I, I'm it's trying, but you just keep tower. going. Um, I have a question <laughs> about. I have under the damage. I have two. Um, damage dice things. One's a D8, and one's a D10. Probably. Is the D10 if it's two handed? Yeah, two handed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it'll probably. Okay. Okay, so but if you're carrying you're holding a shield, shield so. I am yeah. holding a shield. Uh, I rolled a four plus two is six. All right, clang six damage to this suit of armor. Um, it looks slightly dented. I, I think I would also like to. Uh, I'm very nervous about having a second uh, guy behind me, um, and so I would like to use my spell slot for divine smite oh. um and let's get um some extra damage done is my okay. goal um so i'm gonna roll my two my d8s twice i i found right. my other dice so i'm gonna roll them together uh five all right, so you clang, you hit it, and then the, the dent in the side of its head glows with radiant energy for five more damage. Um, and then it, these aren't undead or fiends, are they? They are not. Okay, just, just you know, checking. For it would be a big no deal reason. if that was a, a zombie, its head yes. would be caved in. <laughs> yes. It's just, just a suit of armor, just okay. doing its job. Just hanging out. It is the animated armor's turn. Dan, what do you want them to do? Well, uh, there are two next to Keyloth, so uh, yeah. they are warming up, and they're going to take some swings at her. The one to the north takes two swings with its sword. It gets uh, a... Let's see, sorry. A 10 and a... Nope, eight, nope 16. Nope. Oh, misses. The one for the bottom will do the same. Takes two swings. It gets a 16, and which we established does not hit, and a 19, which probably hits. Which does. Yeah, yes. so it gets one slash off at you for five slashing damage. Uh, the one up here, it, I think, is probably most worried about Alan, who already slashed at it with a sword. So it will take two attempts to slash at her. It Yikes. gets a eight, which I'm guessing nope. does not hit, and a twenty-three, which probably does. Yes. <laughs> Five slashing damage. And our last suit of armor will clank slowly towards not a dragon. And we'll take two slashes at him. Uh nine and Miss. a twelve. Miss. Wow. All right. All right. Not Slow, a dragon. It is your clunky. turn. <sighs> Armor. Uh, having uh, deftly avoided being slashed up by this one, not a dragon is going to continue to witch bolt the other one. Uh, I'm sorry, witch bolt? Do you roll damage or is it a Just, flat amount? It's a roll of a d12. Seven. All right, that animated armor explodes in pieces of metal and 
arms and legs and bolts go f- scattering across the uh, the floor of the chamber. Ah, my eye! <laughs> <laughs> there is no insurance coverage for these. these arms. It's a work related uh, injury. Was that an action, not a dragon, or was that uh, a bonus an, action? It is an action to continue it. Yes. So okay, that's, that's all I'm going to do. Yep. Uh, All right, uh, Gorvin, you are no longer face to face with a metal monstrosity, but there are still three of them in the various corners of the room, causing trouble for Kalof and not a dragon. What would you like to do? Um, can I shoot my crossbow at one of the uh, the one north of uh, Kalof? Yep, roll it. Okay. I uh, got an eight. Um, sorry. It it eight hits plus. the stone side of the the uh, chamber uh, without hitting the uh, the animated armor. Okay. So it was eight plus something, but it was four. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're tough. They're tough. Um, okay. Do you want to do anything else? Are you happy where you are in the chamber? Um. Well, I think uh, I would like to. Let's see. I think I will move a. a it do, I mean, I don't see myself getting into hand-to-hand contact. You do have a sword. I mean, you have I, a sword if you need it, but yeah. that may not be your preferred. I, I you don't know, have a sword. you've got a crossbow. I have a dagger. I thought we gave you a rapier. A rapier. We didn't give you. A, oh, it's a rapier. rapier a, rape. a sword. Yeah, yeah it's yes. a. It's like a. I think it's like a fencing sword. Yeah, basically, it's a light and narrow uh, sword. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Um, but th- that does not have to be. I, I suspect you're probably. Yeah pretty good with the crossbow too so you may not yeah yeah, yeah you're usually going to be uh, shooting or you're going to be mocking one of the two yeah <laughs> uh, okay mocking you can do from anywhere right <laughs> yep let's yeah. say uh, it's a work right. from home right. kind of job yeah i'll stay, <laughs> I'll stay in, in prime mocking uh uh position where i can see everything going on on the board all right alan i think you're next i noticed you were doing something with a protractor and a ruler there figuring out the angles. <laughs> yeah yeah what yeah, a little, a little light Trick math, shot. like like pool style, you know, plan yeah. to like ricochet off the wall and you know hit two in the, two in a row. But let's see, yeah. I'm gonna go crossbow, and I am going to go for the one that's in front of Kilof, the one that actually hit her, because I mm-hmm. want some vengeance. And I'm going to that is fifteen plus seven. Yeah, so that'll yeah. do it. We're good. Um, mm-hmm. so that's twenty two, and yeah. let's see. I need to get my eight. All right. Come on, damage. Four, five, six, seven, seven damage. All right. Uh, That animated armor is not looking great. It has taken a a couple good hits from various people. It's not not in great shape anymore. Yay. Anything anything else, Alon? Uh, Nope, that's all I can do. All right. Diendo? A Diendo sees that his pal Not a Dragon is being attacked by a suit of armor, and he starts to roar in anger, and he charges it. And as he approaches it, he lashes out with a spear and both little feet in a flurry of blows. So the spear attack is a 24 versus AC. That hits. Oh, God, another one. Uh, that's four points of piercing damage. All right, noted. It makes a distinct ding noise as I hit it with my spear. <laughs> Excuse me. Ding! <laughs> oh, my bell's just out of reach, sorry. <laughs> okay, and then uh, he leaps from the ground and kicks out with both feet and uh, rolls for a 24 and a 20. Wow, all hits. Okay. Nice. Uh, first one's six. Second one's four. Uh, I would call that ten damage. And uh, it makes this loud dong noise as he does so. A dong! A ding That's right. and so a dong? First a ding, <laughs> yeah. and then immediately followed by a dong. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. And then, still roaring, 
Diendo goes right between the suit of armor's legs and on through the other side. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Until he's all the way on the other side of the room again. Is that, you may have angered the suit of armor. Is it going to take an opportunity attack at you? <laughs> it's monks. not because I disengage as part of my flurry of blows. It, oh, it does monks, a thing where man. it like tries to look beneath, the, like between its legs. But it's not that agile. It's like, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, armor. I feel like they do not have good waist rotation, right? Or they—that's the thing about robots. They're either really good at rotating at the waist or really bad. There's no way to speak with robots. The only dance that the animated armor can do is the robot. <laughs> that, mm. Okay, it's all I've got. Technically, not a robot. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm a dragon. Diendo, you have that uh, that robot. Uh, sorry, not a robot. That uh, that suit of armor is badly damaged at this point. Uh. Kill off. All right, going after the one in front of me, right there, and I crit. Yeah, so yeah. That is for, these dice are doing much better. Uh, so D eight. Roll it twice. Two plus two is four, and another two. Plus two. Only another the, four. You only get to add it once. Oh, I don't only. Okay, fine. <laughs> so six. All right. Not good if you're an animated armor to take six damage. No. All right. Uh, it is looking very dented and rusty at this point. Good. Did we make All it right. rust? <laughs> well, slowly <laughs> rusting as it. Uh, the yeah. fog, the fog. The fog. Like, yeah, that's that moisture. moisture. That's moisture. That's moisture. Which, <laughs> that moisture is horrible. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, the brilliance of that plan. I didn't see it before. The do not cast helpful. magic farmer on that. Totally yeah, that really. <laughs> guys, guys, if we just stay in this room for another 17 years, <laughs> these things will fall apart <laughs> on their own. We'll be good. The fog, the fog is the moral moral victory. All right. Yeah, well, my... uh, you have delivered a lot of damage to the various suits of armor uh, throughout the chamber, but none of them have died since last round, and it is their turn. So there are three of them still remaining, um, Dan. Oh. Two of them, I think, are focused on Kiloth. I'm not sure about the other one. He did get uh, menaced by Diendo. Diendo ran away, and a suit of armor is not that fast, so it's going <laughs> to stick with the uh, That's why not running. a dragon in front of it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it will attempt to make two slashing attacks. Uh, one of those is a 15. Just enough. And the other one is a 13. So I think That's only one. Five slashing damage to you. Slash damage. Um, five damage. Okay. Um, what the hell? Uh, reaction to cast... Hellish Rebuke at the one that hit me. Mm -hmm. It must make a dexterity saving throw Skelty. DC 13. So dexterous. All right. It rolls a 17. Ah, all right. It Ooh. still takes half of half of 11 damage, so five uh, fire damage. It is not looking good for it. Uh, all right, the other two are still very happy to be attacking Keyloth. The damage just one wailing on you. On the top. I do like that it's basically Keyloth fighting two suits of armor. <laughs> the rest of you also fighting two suits of armor. <laughs> uh, Keyloth. You know who the tank is in this party. true. We attacked them. An 11 <laughs> that probably misses and an 18 yep. that hits. Uh, 18 is my class. Okay. So you take five slashing damage from that. And the second one attempts to do the same. It gets a 12 that misses and a 22 that hits. So another five. Dang it. So How are you doing there, Kayla? I am down to five. Row. Oh, no. That's not good. Better kill some suits of armor, guys. Yeah. Can you guys, like, keep it up, please? Right, yeah, not a dragon. Uh, not a dragon will... Take a swipe at the one in front of him with his sword. I don't think I knew you had a sword. I do. Uh, Especially if you sword. see the hilt over the corner on the drawing. <laughs> yeah, Kathy drew it. I just right noticed now. in your avatar you're holding a violin, you're, but you have in your backpack a sword. <laughs> a violin's a form of sword. <laughs> That's um, not true. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a violins. <laughs> oh, God. I, was, I knew someone was going to get this. 
<laughs> I rolled a 23. Whoa. I oh, hope that oh, hits. Right. How much violin damage? Yeah. You uh, find, <laughs> you manage to line up your sword right with the, uh, you know, if it had a face, you were stabbing it in the face, but it has just an empty, uh, you know, helmet hole. And you stab it there. Roll damage. That is seven violin damage. Um, All right. Very <laughs> violinced. Um, <laughs> you slay the magic suit of armor, not with magic, but with violence. The lesson here is swords are great. <laughs> um, not a dragon will move up and close on this other one that's bothering Keyleth. Um, I like this new uh, this, uh, sorcerer with a sword for hire. This is a, a sword sword warlock. A oh. sword sword. Oh, a sword lock. Uh, sword yeah. lock. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep calling you a sorcerer, and you're a warlock. Totally different. Hexblade, man. I mean, war is right there in the name. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> It's a lock. It's not a not a peace lock. Um, <laughs> not a dragon or a peace lock. <laughs> mm. uh, that, not a dragon. Do you have any other actions? You see you just, a uh, that's real impressive. That's, that's it. All right, Gwerven Jawan, take us home. You're at the end of the order. Okay. Um, I feel many competing priorities. Um. Um, you could befriend <laughs> these suits of armor. Yeah. Make, 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 you want to make your bed or... Yeah, <laughs> clean up some of the dust. Did you leave the the, the stove on back in White Sparrow? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there's... so She suddenly heads back to town to investigate the hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Flashback to... Or no, uh, smash cut to the hand. <laughs> Nothing's happening there. Back to the action in the, in the tomb. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I, yeah, I'm definitely uh, feeling a, a bit of, of uh, bardic overwhelm, but uh, here's the thing. I am concerned about Keyloth uh, with the mm. five Don't worry, I'm concerned points. too. Uh, <laughs> so the question is, do you want to heal, heal Keyloth or I could, or I mean, that's a bonus thing. action. Both oh, you can right. do both. Yeah, so right. yeah. I could do both. I also have a thing that I really like the name of called Song of Rest. <laughs> where we have to be resting can, for that. Yeah, though. that's something you yeah. have to do during, uh, during nap time, basically. <laughs> we yeah. can you take to, a little rest time. during this. You gotta survive. Action. You gotta survive the fight to use Song of Rest. I, uh, five minute timeout. Come on. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> in your neutral corners. Uh, fine, but the mechanical suits this of armor also get to use, use, use Song of Rest. <laughs> we make all the Song of Rest. Their Song of Rest is really it's mechanical. Well, but they have their own. They have their own bard. It's, it's like just, a beatbox. It's a, it's a long sequence <laughs> yeah. of dings and dongs. Yeah, <laughs> all right. It's basically the, the Carol of the Bells played on armor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so then I, what I I intend to do is to use my crossbow to um, attack the uh, the armor suit of armor north of Kathy. Um, all right, the I one mean, that sorry, is Keelock. badly uh, Yes. Yes, and maybe. Uh, we... That one looks like one or two crossbow bolts would take it down. Okay. Um, dice. Our brain starting starting to become brain dead. There's no spell for that. Okay, that is only an eight to twelve. Not enough. Huh? It's not enough. The the suit of armor continues to twist and turn as it delivers blow after blow to Kaloth. All right, uh, Gorvin, did a you bonus... also want to heal yeah. Keyloth as a bonus yes. action? Do it. Yeah, I do. And uh, for that, I I roll a, the d4 and then add three. Yep. Okay. Come on, four. Four! Yay! There you go. Plus three! I appreciate Seven. that greatly. <laughs> All oh, if, right. If you're gone, we're all gone. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's point. probably true. You you have figured something out that the people in the last adventure did not figure <laughs> did out. Not. As as Aline lay dying in the middle of a hobgoblin <laughs> throne room, people are just like, ah, how important? Can and it's like, no, that was that was that was, that was your linchpin. That was your, your most linchpin important. Is on, yeah, your linchpin is on fire. <laughs> um, this is anyway, the one we could not lose. <laughs> you you have, you are already operating at an advanced level, Gene. Good job. <laughs> All right. So you have slain two of the suits of armor, but two remain. Uh, your your warrior paladin champion Kalof has taken many uh, wounds to to all over. Uh, 
You outnumber the suits of armor, but they are deadly, they are dangerous, and they are, above all, magical. Uh, will you be able to defeat them and head deeper, darker, deeper into whatever ruins are here darker. beneath this ancient library? Wait, will did you, you mention discover, deeper? <laughs> will you discover the secrets that the Cult of Dusk is searching for? Or and what of their leader? Um, for answers to questions such as these, tune in next time to Total Party Kill. <laughs> <laughs>